Hello, everyone. Can you can you hear me? Okay. Hello, hello. Oh. <laughs> Music's going ham in the background. Hello, folks. You're all very welcome to the stream. We'll do another sound check in just one moment. Okay, let me let me let me turn the. Uh, this is very dramatic for just starting the stream. Hang on. Let me just adjust that a bit. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for bearing with me today. Uh, I was having some PC trouble. Uh, I was trying to edit together the heavy rain highlights, uh, which should go up way later tonight. They're currently just in YouTube processing. Because uh, my PC crashed, I had to, like, redo some of it. Uh, which is just why the stream's a bit late today. I was just trying to get that fixed. Uh, but today... Today, today, today... Uh, we are playing a game I have wanted to play on this channel for, like... It would have been five years. Like, Jesus. Uh, we played this game... So long ago, back in the day, it would have been... It would have been the tail end of 2017. Uh, it would have been, like, uh, the tail end, and uh, like, the start of 2018. Uh, this was still, like, like, before even the variety content days. Uh, would have been the last time that uh, I, I, I streamed this game. It was in the TF2 days. I say, you know, it's old. Uh, and for, like, the 20 or so of you that are here and might remember those days, uh, we used to play Darkest Dad Dungeon, where we played Darkest Dungeon and put on, like, kind of funky disco music. Uh, as everyone, like, horrifically died fighting Eldritch Abominations. Uh, this game, in my opinion, is, like, the best roguelike ever made. Uh, just, just straight up. I, I don't think anything comes close. It's so in-depth, you get so attached, and it's so involved. And it's just quite epic. Uh, uh, this is my favorite one. I've wanted to play this again for years. Uh, and actually playing Cult of the Lamb is kind of what, we're, like, kind of has given me the kick. To kind of get back into this, just because they're like similar kind of like aesthetics, the idea of fighting horrors and kind of like the occult abominations. Um, and so I thought I'd dip out of that fantastic game as it is, because I really want to play this, and I've wanted to play this for so damn long. Uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 is in early access, I believe, at the moment as well. Uh, haven't checked that out at all. I've been deliberately like kind of in the dark, just because I'm kind of waiting for it to come out. I think it comes out later this year. Excuse me, there's just a uh, frantic revving outside. It's apparently very different, Darkest Dungeon 2. I have not tried it yet. It's still in development. Um, but this game, this game is so damn good, and I'm really excited. I've been, I've been wanting to play this for so damn long. Let me just take off my jumper. This is a little warm. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing this the next while. Uh, it's like early Halloween horror, I guess. Because uh, this, this game could be horrific, but in very different ways. I thought it'd be fun to do this coming off the Nuzlocke and stuff, too. Uh, thank you to everyone who subbed and gave bits. Yeah, can, can you hear me okay? We'll do a proper audio check once we boot up the game. We have a cutscene um, to watch first that I really want to show you. Because it's a damn good cutscene. Uh, I won the best game... Uh, this is a weird thing to kind of, like, sell this game. Uh, this game has, like, one of the best narrators in any game. Uh, just, uh, 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 like... If you enjoy the Stanley Parable simply for, like, a man with a crisp voice talking, you will like this game. <laughs> He's so damn good. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna boot it up now so you guys can see it. I'm just making sure everything else went up okay. Uh, just... Just before we start, I, I understand people that are still hopping on the stream as well. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Okay, hang on. So we gotta go... That was the fake main me menu music, because it's one of those games that gets a bit weird if we tab out of it sometimes. This game also just starts, so I want to get this right. Okay, hang on, it should... There we go. Ruin. 
has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor. And then the energy bill came in for winter 2022. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Don't you hate it when there's an eldritch portal to another realm in your basement? Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. No, it's not Ohio. Dungeon. <laughs> it's not, it's not Ohio. <laughs> Darkest Dungeon is about making the most of a bad situation. Quests will fail or must be abandoned. Heroes will die, and when they die, they stay dead. Progress autosaves constantly, so actions are permanent. The game expects a lot of you. How far will you push your adventurers? How much are you willing to risk in your quest to restore the hamlet? What will you sacrifice to save the life of your favorite hero? Welcome to Darkest Dungeon, everybody. It's a Nuzlocke, basically. Now, uh, subtitles, yep, yeah, we, we can get subtitles on. I believe it's just for that bit that we didn't have. Uh, but we have them on now. That was just the opening cutscene. I wanted it to play out as is. Uh, we're gonna lower the music just a little. Let's try and get let's try and get the audio right here. Hang on, let's uh go minus fourteen there. How does that sound? A moment of respite. Death waits. Terrible. Hold fast. That all good? I think that should be good. Okay, we want to just try and like bounce that best we can. We're gonna be playing a while tonight as well. Uh, we, we, I, I'm, I'm so excited for this. We're gonna be going a good old while. Have everything mute but narration. That would be quite eerie. <laughs> just the ASMR Darkest Dungeon playthrough. Okay. Turn the game. Uh, so some of you um, might remember this. I booted this up just for myself to see if this was running. Uh, this was our old save file from when we played it way back in the day. I don't know how many people here even remember it. Yeah. yeah I, I, I can see some of the mods and that kind of remember. You guys have been around a while. Uh, that was the Blackpool Estate. We made it to week, week 83 there. We had, I, I, I can't remember how many streams of Darkest Dungeon we did. That was a long time ago. We're gonna, we're gonna keep that tucked away there. Uh, we are going to be starting a new save file. We have every DLC unlocked. Uh, I've never even seen this one myself, just for the Musketeer. I have no idea what they do. I don't think I've even played The Color of Madness. Uh, this is like a weird, like, I, I think this is like... Eldritch aliens? I think. I mean, they're all kind of aliens. Not entirely sure. 
Uh, but we're gonna just keep it on. Uh, the one thing I do know is that, like, uh, the Butcher's Circus thing in the main menu is like a PvP mode or something. That's apparently not very good, from what I understand. Is this your first estate? The Crimson Court increases the complexity and pressure of the campaign. Is recommended for experienced players. Uh, I would have last played it about four years ago. I have a vague, hazy memory. Uh, sure, fuck it. I think we'll be okay. Just turn it all on. Uh, Radiant is easy mode. Uh, Blood Moon... Now, Blood Moon, I would argue, is way too fucking hard. <laughs> Uh, this actually sets uh, a time and death limit for your characters, which, which is, like, absurdly difficult. Um, darkest is the one we want. Even, uh, 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 Blood Moon is, like, you're, like, a fucking speedrunner level. If too many characters die, the entire game resets. That, that, that's just not gonna be fun. So, we're gonna try Darkest to give us a bit more of a chance. We get to name our estate. I, I believe the format is it will say the blank estate. <laughs> is it really gonna be Ohio? <laughs> Ohio's not doing too well. We dug too deep, planting the corn. It's never been the same. Shouldn't have planted the spooky corn. Oh, hey, what if we do the entirety of Ohio? Because now it'll come up as the entirety of Ohio State. <laughs> Okay. I think that's good. Uh, enable view DLC. Yep, that's all on. We want all that on. It basically gives you more classes. I never really messed around with the district much. The Crimson Court is the one I'm most familiar with. Okay, the entirety of Ohio. Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> okay, let me just delete Ohio real quick. It just doesn't look right to me. Is that right, though? There we go. I don't trust it. This is Ohio, too. Alright. Here we go. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. We're all going Leading to die. Only I fear to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other. Damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Fun fact, uh, the narrator, uh, in preparation for this game, inhaled an entire thesaurus. He knows every word that exists. With the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. Okay, here we are. We got map navigation. So you're currently in a room to move forward. Click on another room on the map display. Let's take the connecting hallway. Uh, we're going to be going through all of this, by the way. I know some people have never seen this game before. Uh, I've 
I'm a bit more familiar with it, but we're gonna just do like a refresher just to try and introduce some folks as we go. Uh, means if you watch this stream, then you'll be kind of prepped for all the future times we play this. This is like kind of how dark this dungeon takes place. You have like kind of like a loot system here. You have characters in your party. We have Dismas and Reynald to start with. Uh, this is your map. The torch indicates where you are. And then you kind of click the room that you want to walk in. have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. So while in a hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move. An ambush. Ohio is a little Send better than I remember. Message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on the highlighted target. You can't select particular skills because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Okay, so turn one. So we have our abilities listed here. So open vein, open vein is one of our abilities. You can kind of read its effects there. You can, uh, the circles highlighted indicates uh, the ones on the left are the position he has to stand in. The ones on the right are the target enemy it hits. And you can kind of see like kind of how it mod modifies stats. So this one is minus 15% damage attack. But it also uh, has a good chance of just inflicting bleed, basically. So load that up. And you can kind of, uh, if you look at these stats here. So you, he's a human type enemy. Protection of 15%, so he's basically reducing it by 15%. A dodge of 2. So chance to dodge. You can see his speed. You can also see, like, the main one, though, is hero damage. It's going to tell you how much you can hurt him for. So here it's going to be between 4 to 8. And it's basically a dice roll. You can also see his resistance as well. So he's got a 20% chance to resist the bleed. That did a 6. Bleed inflicted. More or less how it works. Here we can go for a good old smite. If we go for smite as our attacking ability, hero damage is 6 to 12. He only has 6 of 12 HP, so this is guaranteed to kill him. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them it's, all. it's kind of like Metopia. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if Metopia is the direct point of comparison for this game. Uh, but yeah, turn-based RPG combat. Same genre. It, it, as weird as it sounds. Uh, loot. Each item, if you take, will occupy space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory, too. So, when you kill them, you get rewards. We just click take all. We get money. Uh, what we can do outside of combat as well is we can restructure our party. Uh, Reynald is Crusader, which means that we kind of want him in the lead. Actually, we can rename these two. Who are our starting heroes? We get to rename both of them. We can rename them. Some people do want me to leave them. We could leave. We could leave these two as the originals and then rename everyone else we get. Okay, we're gonna just uh, hang on. <laughs> oh, <OG>. gee. <laughs> Just so we have the original gang, like, kind of marked as we go in our adventure. There we go. The, 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 these are the originals. It's darkest dungeon tradition, I believe, to leave these guys, like, kind of as their vanilla starters. Uh, you can also, like, you can customize their outfits if you want to and stuff like that. We'll keep these guys as OG. Uh, as you can see here, uh, just to give a bit of a rundown. Uh, we'll, we'll look into more of this as we go. Uh, every character you have has quirks. They have their base stats. They have equipment. They have all of their abilities here as well. There's seven. Uh, they also have a class. This is a highwayman. There's seven different attacks that a highwayman can learn. You equip four. And those are the ones you fight with. Uh, depending on which ones you equip, they have a preferred position. And they have like preferred enemies that they can hit. Uh, the quirks are interesting because these just add straight abilities. So like, hard noggin. Quick reflexes, these are pretty damn good, but known cheat, he can't gamble while in town. And you'll amass more of these as you go. Uh, if we take a look at Reynald, he's a warrior of light, 10% damage with the torch is above 75, which is pretty good, because most of the time we'll keep the torch lit. He's God-fearing though, so he'll only pray. 
and he's a kleptomaniac. Uh, that one is particularly bad. He's gonna steal a lot of shit. Uh, but he's better suited just like strictly in the front. He's more tanky. Let's march on. Top of that, thank you for the 500 bits. I hope you're doing okay. Interactive objects. While exploring, you often find interactive objects. Uh, press W to investigate. Take a look at this tent. So we can search it. Search inside the tent. We Leave found more money. Unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. We're basically a mass and loot. When you get to the end of a hall, you press W, and you get to go in and you get to the final room. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion. I don't know how we were surprised. We had pretty good torchlight. But all right, I might move where the subtitles are just so they don't block our abilities. I can see that being a problem here. Uh. Okay, I mean, we just want him bleeding. Alright, we can dodge. Oh, we're so good already. The, the, these guys might go far. These guys might go really far here. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna smack him down as fast as I can. I believe in the gang here. So you can stack debuffs as well. So now when it's his turn, he's going to lose four health, uh, which means that hitting him, he's guaranteed dead. Size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. This is what I mean. He's in, he's like he's inhaled several dictionaries. Uh, when monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills, push pull skills, and even corpse clearing skills that some heroes possess. Monsters kill with a bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpse at all. See? So his remains are now there, and they're actually protecting his body here. Because his remains are there, it means that, like, we actually can't shoot this guy here. Uh, what we can do is we can simply clear it up. Uh, the corpse can bleed as well further to try and destroy it. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough here. So we can just like do a bulwark of fate. Corpse should bleed out. There we go. It bleeds out. This lad moves forward. We hit this lad. That's pretty much the basics. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. After you complete the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town anytime. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Okay, so continue adventuring for one moment. Uh, because there's a treasure chest here. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to head home now. <laughs> okay, and because we completed uh, an expedition, we get a bonus of gold as well. We get a bunch of rewards. We take all home. Your idea is basically go explore a mass loot survive more difficult odds. You get experience as you adventure. Uh, your characters become stronger over time. They can also obtain quirks at the end of an adventure here. That will permanently change them. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Okay, welcome home, gang. Here's all your quest goals. Kill absolutely everything. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. This game just like chucks it all out. Like, There's like 30 bosses here. Just get started. Get help where you may on any screen in the game. Press an old H to see contextual help for controls in that mode. While exploring, uh, fighting, camping, and more. So here is our party. Peel, thank you for 100 bits. If this narrator at any point in this game says Gizzard, I will give 10 subs, and yes, you can hold me to that. <laughs> okay, that's a bit weird, but alright. 
Um, rock people, thank you for 200 bits. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Okay, so welcome to town. There's a lot to check out here. Uh, first place is the stagecoach. We need to recruit all men, these heroes to fill out a party of four. Outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. So what we can do is we can amass a team here. The stagecoach has adventurers show up after every expedition. This is if you run out of people, more people always show up here. And then you can also spend some of your heirlooms on the upgrade in the stagecoach network. Uh, this will increase the quality of heroes that you basically receive. Every building has upgrades that you can kind of like access from here. So increase the number of available heroes to three. Increases the size of your roster to 13. So at the moment you can have 10 heroes. Uh, we probably just want more available Great heroes for now. can be found even here, in the mud and rain. These ones are really good because uh, this will give you le already leveled up heroes. So we want to try and get that. And uh, it see, I know it seems quite dense going into it, but it's like these systems. They basically ch the game chucks them all at you at once, and then like that's the game, and you have all the tools you need to play it. Uh, I'll I'll try and unpack everything as we go here. I know it seems a bit dense at the start, especially if you're not familiar with the game. Uh, we get two new heroes. Uh, for now, we get to rename them. So what do we want? Uh, is it randomly generated? Yes. All of these characters are randomly generated outside of the first two. Call him Von Camera. I, I want to call him like new, like new characters or like real people or something. I don't know. I want, I want something a bit different. Uh, we we've had the band of I Want Die in their many adventures. This is a different adventure. This is going to be like a grueling expedition for these people. Not the queen, no. What have we got? I'm trying to see what stands out. The cast from Friends. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, so this is Monica. <laughs> That's a Monica. Uh, Plague Doctor. I, I feel like the Plague Doctor is a Phoebe. The Plague Doctor is a Phoebe. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you know, I, I know we were going to keep their names the same, but no, I've honestly got to rename them. Uh, this is good. This is now going to be Chandler. It's, 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 there's Chandler Bing. Um, uh, this can be Ross, our Crusader. No, Ross isn't cool enough to be a Crusader. This has to be Joey. This has to be Joey. Ross isn't cool enough. We'll we'll get Ross later uh, with another character. Ross isn't cool enough. We'll get Ross soon. Okay. Here, here's the OG friends gang. Oh, we do kind of need Ross to lead the charge, though. So. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, Ross is gonna be a little cooler in this world. I think Ross, like Ross, canonically in Friends, is God fearing and a kleptomaniac, you know. So maybe it just fits the character. Chandler is a known cheat. Can't gamble anymore. Uh, Monica in town would never drink, but eagle-eyed. Maybe that fits. Warren's phobe. Warren's Phoebe. <laughs> it's close. It's close. Ross Nold. <laughs> Ross Nold Carol Geller. <laughs> oh no. Okay. All right. So the cast of friends. Um. Based in the entirety of Ohio. I feel like this this should have been New York. 
Uh, they've gone to Ohio. It's like like the summer special or something. Okay. Uh, thanks, Gunther, for the new heroes there. All right. Uh, so let's see what else we have in town. Uh, we haven't unlocked some of the features. We haven't unlocked the sanatorium just yet. Uh, but we can have a look at some of the other places. Most will end up Here's your here, graveyard. Covered in the poisoned earth. Awaiting merciful oblivion. So most of the cast of Friends will be awaiting oblivion. There's like 10 seasons of the show, so you know, they're going to be sticking around here a while. Uh, if your hero dies, they get, they're get they done and buried here. I'm going to see uh, as well. I just want to see if I change the subtitle to the top. I feel like that might be better because there's a lot of information on the bottom. In time... You will know the tragic extent of my failings. That's probably better, yeah. For for combat and stuff like that, that's probably going to be the better spot. Because otherwise it's covering too much of the UI. Uh, so this is basically your ancestors' memoirs. Here's all your objectives once again. Uh, there is a lot to unpack here. Here's Crimson Court. Here's the Color of Madness. Here's the DLC. There's the Darkest Dungeon. Epilogue, like there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Also, a nomad wagon. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Basically, a little shop. There's a life crystal, and you can get a dodge stone. Uh, that's actually not bad if we can get that early. We want to try and unlock some of these uh, abilities as we go. Wait, the jewelers. The comet's crash has attracted an opportunity to specialize in otherworldly treasure. You can spend crystal shards earned at the farmstead here. Okay, th th this is completely new to me. Um, this kind of looks like World of Warcraft uh, raid tier token exchange counter. Uh, I don't think we're quite there yet. That's DLC stuff for now. But we can increase the amount of trinkets, reduce the trinket cost by 10%. Uh, I think we just save most of our emblems for now. Because um, there's going to be other features here we want to improve. We don't really start with any inventory. Quest goals... Here's, like, the help menu to explain all of these terms. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain all this as we go. This is what I mean. Uh, uh, th this game is a bit dense to start with, but once you get into it, it, it makes a lot more sense. Y'all following? Y'all following? Making sure. Mostly. Okay. Let's embark on an adventure. Omeka. Of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. This is where you select a quest and form an adventure and party of four heroes to embark on it. Click on quests to see their details. Drag heroes into the slots at the bottom of the screen to form your party in default order. So we kind of just need the gang of four here. Uh, sometimes you have certain team combinations they will give your team a name as well. So here's the Red Hook cast because this is like the OG team that you get. Uh, at the moment, we only have two options. It's either explore and scout the ruins, um, or you can just embark in the hardest dungeon in the entire game, which is the darkest dungeon. Uh, level six. <laughs> now, it is possible to clear it, but you'd have to get very lucky. It is technically possible to just beat the game. Like, just straight up you could do it. I think there's an achievement if you survive at level 1. Um, but we can't kill the cast of friends that early into the contracts, you know. We got at least, like, a few seasons to go. We'll, we'll get, like, a suicide squad together eventually and venture into the Darkest Dungeon. And see how they get on. But uh, I don't think we're quite there just yet. <laughs> I don't think we're quite there. Okay, so provision. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So, before you go on your adventure, uh, you get to stock up on supplies. Um, for your first short quest, try to bring at least eight food and four torches. So, you need to make sure like you have everyone fed. They get hungry as the adventure goes on. Uh, you absolutely want torches. One of the most handy ones is having a shovel. Shard dust. I've never seen that in my life. That's to do with DLC stuff. Well, I guess we'll experience that a little later. 
Uh, it's it's actually quite a good idea to have like a ready stockpile of some of these things. So if you use a key on a chest, you tend to unlock like a secret compartment and you get more loot. It tends to be in your best interest to kind of stock up on certain items. Some items are way better in certain dungeons compared to others. I can't remember what's actually good in the runes. It's been way too long since I played this game. Uh, but I, I mean, I want a key. Look, are bandages good here? We can get a few bandages. Get a bit of holy water. I think because of certain starting classes as well, you get like certain items. So because I have a crusader, I think I start with a holy water. Maybe it's actually the Vestal. The Vestal will give me the holy water. I'm like an anti-venom because I have like a plague doctor. Okay, we, we need those. Take an extra key. Uh, this should be fine for a first adventure. Let's go. Your first expedition to the ruins of your ancestry. Be curious, be careful. The goal is simply to explore 90% of rooms. Here is the dungeon. Let us embark. Have the squad good to go. Get a free torch as we go to. We want to keep this torch lit. So if your torch is as lit as possible, you have extra chances of monster surprise and also of scouting and dodging. So it can be quite beneficial in combat. You can also intentionally let the torch run out. If you let the torch run out, uh, you actually get way better rewards from fighting everything. But also more Eldritch Abominations come out because it's dark. So you got to be careful. Okay, th th this seems like a pretty gentle start for the run. Let's get him. Inflict Blight, that's five damage a turn. Uh, if I do that, that's guaranteed dead. The light, the promise of safety. Open up his Another veins. Falls. Okay, and everything's dead. Because he'll die to the Blight, so we did it. Good first run. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. He's a skeleton, he has no veins. We can still shank him, right? It's still gonna really hurt him. Okay, unlock Strongbox. Um, I think I just opened this one normally. I don't think I need to use the key on this. Does it have, does it have an extra reward if I use the key on this one? People who are familiar with this game are gonna be able to help me quite a bit with using the items. No, I, I, it says unlocked, yeah, so I think you just open it. So we get some Citrine, we get some extra gold. Let's move on. Uh, this is why you bring shovels. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So if you don't have this here, you gotta clear it away by hand and everyone starts to get hurt. Uh, and also goes insane. Uh, this is the stress meter. Uh, if your character gets too stressed and too anxious while adventuring, um, they have kind of a mental breakdown. And if they have a mental breakdown, a lot of bad things can start happening on the adventure. If they then get even more stressed, they have a heart attack and die on the adventure. Uh, so you gotta also, you gotta not only manage their physical health, but their mental well-being. Because as, the more you adventure, the more traumatized these people get. As they're fighting like horrific monsters. It's a mood. Okay, we surprised him here because we have the good light source. So, great shot. You're doing it, Chandler. Okay, uh, I can get him with the play grenade. That would be lovely. Light him down. No one needs any heals right now. Illumination, damage modifier, accuracy. Bypasses stealth. This doesn't really help me, does it? This does like barely any damage to anything. <laughs> okay, good, good, good going, Monica. Yeah, you you're doing great. Uh, we can potentially, we can just guaranteed kill one, which we probably should do. Executed with impunity. Debunk some with less dodge. Oh, okay. okay. So when he hit me, he reduced the torch there as well. But you're all right, Chandler. Uh, we're just gonna shoot him in the face. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. 
Okay, a noxious blast. He resisted everything. A dizzying blow to crit for, yeah, that seems brain. fair. Alright. Give us a crit for 12. But that's alright, because I can heal up some of the damage. I can heal four of the five around. Let's give him a smack. Uh, if we get the blight on him this time, I can kill him. Okay, so he, he's guaranteed dead now. So I can I can just like do whatever here and like just get some buffs. It doesn't Slowly, matter because he's dying. Gently. This is how a life is taken. There we go. Yeah, so we're gonna get quite badly hurt. That wasn't even a hard fight. Uh, Chandler lost a quarter of his HP, as did as did Ross. They're doing okay. So don't try to bleed them. Yeah, they're not gonna bleed too well. Blight, Blight is gonna be more valuable here. We need to get some better abilities for the gang once we unlock more facilities. I haven't got much right now. Okay, so that's a treasure room. Uh, this is a room battle with a curio, and there's two traps along the way. Uh, we absolutely want the treasure. Everyone's getting stressed. Pack contains loot. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay, light the torch. No one freak out. Okay, guaranteed battle here. They're surprised. We can take them, gang. Uh, this guy is buff, but he doesn't have much blight resist. There we go. Quakes. Okay, if we grape shot. Okay, that's actually amazing, because now if I do that, he's dead. The hero damage is only one. <laughs> God, this move sucks. Not even one more point of damage. I would need to get a crit to kill it. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, uh, Monica is getting really stressed now. We want to avoid that getting to 100. If it gets to 100, we're in trouble. Just start having a mental breakdown. Okay, shoot, hit, great. <laughs> Nice dodge, though. Uh, if we get the poison off here, that guy just dies. There we go. Heal up. Monica's starting to get anxious. She's prepping Thanksgiving dinner. Doesn't know if her friends are coming around. Okay, oh, we got the blood. The blood is a special type of supply item. Any co collected bottles of the blood will be retained in your estate at the quest end. It may be added to the provisions of embarking parties. The blood is rare. Spread it around wisely amongst those in need. Um, yeah, so we don't have much context for what's going on here. The blood is something to keep an eye on. Uh, we do not want to use this just yet because we're going to get in trouble. But we want to stockpile the blood. Okay, heirloom chest. Pop a key in. Opens a hidden compartment if we get more loot. Waiting to be spent. Okay. Um. I mean, I kind of want to just get to this uh, room battle with the curio more than anything. I guess we we can just walk over here and walk back. We 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 kind of want to just explore as much as we can. So scattered traps will be visible on the on the ground as you approach them. Select a hero and cl then click on the trap to attempt the discernment. Some heroes are better than others at discernment. Off you go, Chandler. Now, there we go. The Sermon of Trap also provides uh, stress relief for the character that does it. Uh, in general, the like rogue-type characters tend to be best at the Sermon of Traps. Just from my own experience. Like, I could try Monica here. No. No, that's just going to stress her out even more. Okay. But M Monica might snap soon. Uh, the current torch level is going down. The darker it gets, the harder things get, but the better the rewards. We could try a fight in the dark. So, look at that. So, there's a lot of multipliers here. Plus stress, plus monster damage, plus monster crits, 
but plus loot, plus player crits, plus monster surprised? Let's try some plus monster surprises there. So we can try like a dark fight, just to see how it goes. So it is getting worse for the gang. Oh, they're really going for Monica. Damn it, Chandler. Okay, Monica, heal yourself. Compassion is a rarity in the fever. Compassion for yourself. They really want to kill her. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Monica might die soon. They are just assaulting her right now. Uh, if I go for... I... Favorite coin flip? No. We might get him. We can get him if this lands. There we go. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Uh, Blight is plus four. I can up at the plus eight. That's not gonna kill. I can Noxious Blast on this guy, maybe. Oh my god, leave Monica alone. <laughs> Okay, if I do one damage here, this guy won't get a turn, so it's worth it. Press this there we go. Advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, and we're carrying we're carrying too much victory. loot right now. But a victory nonetheless. Uh so we should uh sack an item here. Uh we don't need the anti-venom. Okay, it's a holy fountain. I think I can just investigate this. I don't need to use the holy water on this, do I? I don't think I need double holy water. It's already been blessed. Okay, Monica, uh, drink up there. Wealth beyond measure. <laughs> Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay, so that's actually really bad. Uh, that can heal you and also reduce stress. But she just found more money, like, dunked in there. Uh, Monica is not faring too well. We probably shouldn't plunge it into complete darkness. But we might get better loot. We might get better loot. You wanna just use one of these, Monica? Give you a buff. Uh, eat up that food. That'll heal you slightly. I don't need that medicine. Okay, so hunger. So this will strike randomly. You regain 5% health. If you don't do it, you take 20% damage plus stress damage. This is why you need to have food. Because you're going to get in a lot of trouble if you don't. I think given where we are in the adventure, Monica can just eat a bunch of food there. There we go. She's full now. Quest is complete, but there's still another room. And our cast of friends is brave. It's much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. Okay, so now it's completely dark. Uh, there's some real bad stuff that has a chance of appearing. Just think of the loot we could get. Think of the loot. I think Monica can survive one fight. Here we go. Okay, that's a really good start. Come on, stress out Phoebe. Oh, Jesus, that did a lot of stress. No, not Monica. No. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna snap! <laughs> okay, he's dead. It'll take four. Monica, heal yourself. No, they're going for her! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, uh, I can get... I can get this guy down. That's too effectively dead. The poison's gonna get him. Oh my god, that did a lot. Okay, uh, we need to shoot him. Great. It has a chance of dealing two. No, get the, get the heal, get the heal. You're too badly injured. Uh, if the blight lands... Okay, yeah, they're dead now. There's only one guy left, and we can stun him. Okay, he resisted, that's fine. We got stunned instead. Get him, Chandler. Uh, he's only got five health left, and he's got five blight on him. It's okay, we made we made it to the end. Crit self heal on Monica. She's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. And look at like all the rewards this we got for that. It's absolutely worth it. Uh, just just toss out uh, the torches. We don't need them anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, t t toss out the bandages. Uh, and that's our first adventure. That's our very first outing, and I think almost, like, two of them died. <laughs> we get a shitload of money for it. We also got a stun stone. Uh, that's actually quite good for, uh, Ross. He's gonna need that. Oh, okay, we get some quirks, though. Okay, so Chandler's been forever changed. Uh, Paranormania? Obsessed with the paranormal. Okay, alright, I don't remember that episode of Friends. Uh, Monica now has Clotter, which is bleed resist. She probably got that because she got so badly hurt on this adventure. Uh, Phoebe's now fragile. That's really fucking bad. <laughs> the tents okay. are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse <laughs> wagons so stand terrible. up already. <laughs> severe negative quirk. Town. Over time, some negative quirks will lock into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost much more to remove in the sanatorium. Okay, here's the butcher circus. Um. You can do PvP events, and they actually do have effects on the main game. We're probably not going to bother with the PvP, though. I've heard really mixed things about it. Uh, it's not really a reason that people play this game. So we're just going to kind of, like, skirt clear of the Butcher's Circus. It will pop up from time to time. Alright, well, the gang made it back okay. Have we looked in the stagecoach? There's some new heroes available. There's Percy. There's Cambrai. And there's Umfraville. Prone to investigate in the dark arts, but fade it. Can't turn any miss into a hit. Uh, Helion is really good. Uh, we're gonna have a very Barrett mean Rachel. And unrelenting savagery make Obsessed a with killing. <laughs> okay, so let's get let's get Rachel on board. Uh, we haven't got a Joey just yet. Who else would we want to add? Uh, we should probably just take each role as we can go. We, we kind of need them. That's, that's actually quite good as well. Shoot. Who do we want our Arbalist to be? The dancing steps of war. <laughs> just Jerry Seinfeld's. Are we gonna open it up to like the darkest dungeon like sitcom cinematic universe? <laughs> it's not just friends. <laughs> okay, so this this is Jerry Seinfeld. 
All right. Uh, we'll get a grave robber on board. Keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. I've not seen Seinfeld. Is is Kramer from? Who's like Seinfeld's partner? Is it Kramer in that? I think that's Kramer. Yeah, so we, we got we got to have like, Kramer be like the partner in crime. Okay. Kramer is definitely a grave robber. <laughs> okay. All right, so sitcom cinematic universe is expanding. All right, let's let's get uh, all them loaded up. Uh, upgrading the stagecoach is one of the more important things you can do. Like, you can just up upgrade, like, the size of your roster. Increase the number of available heroes. We, we probably want to invest more in this. Although, we do have, we do have, now we do have a fair few heroes at the mo. Okay, actually, it make it four. Because that way, if we wipe, we get a new team. We get a new team that way. So let's up that to four. Uh, the tavern is now unlocked. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. So, this is stress relief. Um, because Monica is really on edge. Um, we're gonna tell Monica... Wait, why doesn't she drink? Oh, and town will never drink. Okay. Okay, well, oh, she could go to the brothel instead, I guess. Okay, Monica's gonna have a real good time. Alright. That should calm her down. I probably should have increased the stress recovery first. Strong drink, a game of chance. Let's 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 increase the pub's effectiveness. The rush of life. The pub and gambling are gonna be like our two that we're gonna invest in. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. And okay, Monica's gonna feel real better soon. <laughs> The cobwebs have been dusted. The it takes some time off. Straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Uh, we also have the church here. Uh, I think Ross is God-fearing, so he'll only pray. So it's probably worth a invested in, in prayer. Claiming communion with the divine. We want to up the stress Madness. recovery in that as we go. Okay, and that's probably everything we can do. Uh, for the next adventure, I don't think Phoebe's well enough to go on another adventure. Yeah, and Phoebe, go pray. Yeah, go, go, go pray to God a while, Phoebe. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take on board a new team with Jerry Seinfeld and Kramer. I think we're gonna have to. Healers, uh, we're just not gonna have one this round. Uh, I think Jerry gets a heal. Oh, never mind. It's not unlocked. Okay, well, I guess... Alright, well, we have no healers. Um, we're, we're just gonna have to do our best. Strange glow at the farm said the comet's impact was felt here in the hamlet. The great impact toppled gravestones and kicked up a cloud of dust. Covered the entire region. And finally settled in an eerie mi miasma was seen to spread from the mill. Distorted the rules of time and space far beyond imagining. Enter the miller's farm to see what has been done. I feel like I don't want to do that yet. Because I'm probably going to die, aren't I? Actually, no, it's, um... It's apprentice level. It is apprentice level, but I, I, we don't have a healer. How you kind of want to play it in general is you check the rewards. And you just kind of see what's good. Poisoned herb might not be bad. Plus 8% crit if the torch is below. That's good for like a jester build if you go on like a dark run. Uh, that's only for the leper. Maybe we just get a gambler's charm. I think we get that. Uh, where is Rachel good at? She's only... Okay, hang on, wait. That, that position... Oh, we can't separate Jerry and um, Kramer though. Man, we got we got to get the two of them on. There we go. This is gonna have to be the team for now. 
They, they don't have Helium. Highwayman up front. Uh, he doesn't have that one... Well, you know, he doesn't have Duelist Advance, does he? Point Blank Shot is real good if we had it unlocked. Uh, we're gonna have to just go with this squad. Um, someone is probably gonna die just because it's a long adventure. Uh, we do have... The Stun Stone. Which we can pop on here for Ross. Ross is gonna stun you. Okay, provision. Uh, because this is going to be a medium light adventure, it does give us a campfire. We get the camp on our adventure, which will give us an opportunity to heal. Um, I think we fully... I think we want, like, a fair bit of food. I think we, we need a fair bit of these. It's a medium light adventure, so, like, we're going to be gone a while. Uh, we want keys again, too. Probably want extra holy water. Like, buying the right curio is just... It costs money, but it gives you more money because you use it. Do we buy the extra four? For, okay, alright. Here we go. I, I think we should be set. We, we have some supplies here. Take an extra bandage. The undead will not bleed, but they can be blighted. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Okay, uh, what skills have we got? Jerry Seinfeld is God-fearing, but he's a manslayer. Okay. Uh, Kramer is fated and in dark temptation. Okay. So, we got some quirks here. Jesus Christ, that's a... mean dungeon layout, too. There's actually so much here. Oh, that's mean. Okay, so we don't have any healing bar food. We're gonna have to be real careful as we go. A handsome reward for a task well performed. We're gonna keep keep the light going as long as we can. There's a good possibility we lose someone here just because it's a lenty trip here. Oh, this is also a complete 100% of room battles, which means I have to explore every nook and cranny. Yeah, someone's dying. Someone's dying. <laughs> this is a very bad combination in a lot of ways. Is there anything I can use uh, in a confession boot? Can I use a key here? I don't think the shovel's gonna do anything. Is this holy water? The ritual relieves the hero. Oh, so it gave some stress relief. Okay. I mean, that's good to know. Why is Kramer so stressed already? Oh, Jerry, no. Step. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're freaking out. In Radiance, may we find victory. Okay, first fight. Thank God they're surprised. Okay, pick to the face, shadow fade, thrown dagger, pox in trickery. Uh, I think this is the best one. That, that one's arm, armor piercing, so that's actually, that's actually kind of good against some of them. Uh, but we actually, we really need to get the ones in the back. We're not going to be able to get them for a while. If I hit him, then I know I can kill him at one of the other ones. Grape shot. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I can take a sniper shot here. I can mark him as well. If I mark him, I think that like uh, even we'll get bonuses on the other ones. Bowl, I can blind fire as well. Random target range. Buff self with speed three. 
I feel like we mark one and then we just start, like, shooting them. Line them up. Okay, uh, we would really like a stun here. <laughs> Thank you. So if you stun them once, they have increased stun resist, so you can't just stun lock them forever. Oh no, Jerry! The end approaches. Jerry, no! Oh, he's really badly hurt! Okay, um, we can get guaranteed kill here. Their formation is broken. Think about maintain the offensive. No, Chandler. Oh, they're so badly hurt. Okay, if I mark them, the other two can kill them with their shots. Except I can't fucking throw. Okay, uh, just get in with the pick. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh god, damn it, Chandler! Okay, sniper shot. The there we go. There we go. Give them no quarter. This is only the second episode. <laughs> Holy shit, they're so hurt. They're so badly injured. I gotta explore a little bit more before I debate just going for the campfire. They stashed heirlooms. Oh, come on, Kramer. Can't afford any more damage. <laughs> okay, have a little snack just to try and keep them alive a bit better. <laughs> Gotta keep exploring. Pack's already been looted. Oh, joy. <laughs> okay, they're weak, though. They're weak. We can get a lot of them. A grape shot here. There we go. Continually onslaught. Destroy. Wow, we, I think we can kill most of them if we're lucky here. We get a high roll here. Be gone, fiend. There we go. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Alright, they didn't do too much extra damage. They didn't do too much. Chandler, what's going on with your accuracy, bud? Holy shit, you've missed every attack. Okay, the blight's not ideal, so we can kill another one. Back to the pit. Uh, we don't have any anti-venom. We have a padlock Lord, for an abomination if we want it. Um. Oh wait, no, we can put that food there. There we go. Just gotta walk off the blight. God, they're getting so stressed. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, there's a trap on the way back here. Uh, we're gonna let Jerry Seinfeld handle this. In the hopes that it would help him relax a little. Find no clemency in this place. I don't think Jerry's long for the world. Ah, 
I, I think we have to use the campfire already, which I really don't want to do. But, like, it's fucking desperate. A spark without kindling is a good I have to do this. Hope. So, camping, you get two phases the meal phase and the skill phase. During the meal phase, you choose how much they eat, which determines recovery. Make sure you have enough food. Skill phase allows you to spend rest points on different hero skills used for recuperation. So, we're gonna have a feast. That provides a lot of stress relief for the gang. Uh, you now get to use 12 respite points. Uh, different abilities cost different amounts. Uh, the Arbalest... Actually, Jerry has some amazing first aid abilities. It's just a shame he can't use them on himself. And clean guns, wound care, bandit sense, pep talk, gallows humor. Pilfer to produce a supply item. I can give a zealous speech to reduce stress. Or I can just kind of encourage. Uh, we'll do a field dressing. <laughs> failed? Completely failed. Alright, uh, Chandler, uh... Yeah, polish up your guns. Uh, that'll, that'll make you stronger. See if you can take care of Jerry. And we'll get some gallows humor in. God damn it, Jerry. <laughs> okay, I don't know how... J Jerry's dead. Jerry's dead. Uh, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get him out of this. Jerry Seinfeld in a lot of trouble. Darkness and we got ambushed. Okay, right. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh no! No, oh, Jerry Seinfeld's resolve is tested. He's masochistic. Those who cover Give me more, I've endured worse. Find it in no short supply. Oh no! <laughs> This is so bad. Okay, yep, so hero can't take it stress anymore. They become afflicted. This manifests in different behaviors and stat changes. So he's gonna be like this for the rest of the adventure now. This is so bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I need to get the I need to get the gang forward as well. Uh, I need to swap there, because then the Arbalist, like, Jerry could actually do something. This is really gonna hurt Kramer, though. Oh my god, they won't leave Jerry Seinfeld alone. The abyss returns. Oh no, he's in trouble. Okay, we need to get these guys down. They have way too much fucking damage. Have I not armored? Try me. Jerry just marked himself. He's also bleeding. Use the bandage. Uh, blind fire. Get to the front, Ross. A pick to the face here can finish that one off because of the bleed. The, that, that's amazing here. Just inflict damage. We need to kill him as quick as we can. Jerry's in trouble. Kramer, no. Okay, finish that one. Come on, Chandler. A stun here would be appreciated. Okay, and I think we, we can line him up. Actually, no, we can we can get this guy. There we go. Come on, Kramer. Oh, Jerry. He resisted. Oh, 
God damn it, Chandler, you're so inaccurate. Stress continues to build beyond the point of affliction. If a hero's stress bar fills the second time completely, their body will give out. Get them aid or retreat back to town before this happens. Death awaits us all. Though Jerry is starting to approach a heart attack if he reaches 200 stress. You gotta get out of here. The light, the promise. Holy of shit! <laughs> this is not going well. Use the bandage. Have a, have a snack, Jerry. We've used our campfire now, too. Oh, <laughs> no. This isn't even the room battle. Come on. The ground quakes. Get him, Chandler! Ross, at least, is tanking them. We still have Ross. Precision and power. That's good for a little bit of stress relief. Ross is just stunning everyone as we need him. MVP of a tank right now. Pride precipitation. No, Jerry, what are you doing? Fall. Oh, it's okay. Uh, you gotta be careful. So, because Jerry is afflicted and masochistic now, he's just gonna run headlong into these things. Uh, we cannot stop him. Uh, this is worth more than that gem, so just take that gem. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Must persist. At least there's just some freebies here. <laughs> Jerry, you gotta calm down. <laughs> Jerry, no. If only treasure could staunch the flow of... Uh, we don't really have room for the journal corruption. page. Uh, use the herbs? Oh, that'll cure some of the stress. What would we like to take? And stack the torches. There we go. I, I, I don't need the journal page. As the light gains purchase, I keep getting scouted, and purpose is made clear. We must continue. Jerry, no! Um, Jerry, just drink the holy water. Yeah. Keep him going. Dodged it, thank God. No! <laughs> oh no, Je okay wait, yeah, push Jerry to the back again. Push Jerry to the back. Oh shit. I might be able to get in with the bleed, there we go. Come on Chandler, you can take it. We really need to get him down because of the stress. Cherry! <laughs> yeah, pull him to the front. Get Ross back up here. Get them down. Pain steadies my aim. Jerry, you gotta stop freaking out for like five minutes. Okay, get the bleed. 
There we go, he's dead. It's just this guy left. We're in the clear. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Um... I... Have a bandage? Take the gem. That's a better gem. To use the campfire? We already used the campfire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> Holy shit game. Jerry, no! <laughs> He's losing his mind! Oh, he's on death's door! As life ebbs, terrible vistas of but the heroes, this is zero HP, they're at death's door. While well, in this state, they will suffer, suffer stat penalties plus any further damage has a chance to kill him. Heal him? To get off it? If only I could do that! Come on, Jerry! Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. <laughs> They're all missing. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Jerry didn't make it. Jerry didn't make it. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld is dead. There was no way he was surviving. <laughs> Oh my god. That was absolutely brutal. Yeah, there we go. Chandler means business now. He's avenging Jerry. We gotta get the rest of the cast out. Kramer will ca continue the show. But Jerry would have won it. The irony of the game giving me this side. <laughs> and insidious killer. All right. Put that on Chandler. God damn it, game. God damn it. And we must continue the expedition. Oh no. Ross is now nocturnal. He now has negative two speed. That's really fucking bad. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this is the last battle. Please, God, be the last battle. With impunity. Come on, Kramer, you need to survive here. D they're just picking us off. Kramer! Oh my God, Chandler! No, they're going for Kramer! <laughs> Give us some good rolls. Graver, hang in there. At the very precipice of oblivion. Guarantee you get the kill. Don't go for Kramer. Don't go for Kramer. <laughs> okay, the entire cast of Seinfeld's dead. Seinfeld didn't survive their first episode. They died in the pilot. They died in the pilot. <laughs> Holy shit. Seinfeld. <laughs> this expedition at least promises success. Oh my god. It's a fucking massacre. Holy shit.
Uh, we, we do want to take more crests if we can uh, squeeze them in. Um, I'd argue the crests are worth more than the money at this point. Oh, thank God we can go home. Wait, just real quick. Hang on, did we get the scout? No, I, I didn't click it right. All my hope. Let's just get out of there. Seinfeld's dead. Oh my god. We did get a lot of loot though. How's Chandler holding up? He's never gonna drink. Okay. Uh, Chandler's not allowed to use the tavern at all. He can't drink, can't be lighter. No long years may seek to separate them. Intolerable Action clouds of mosquitoes and other less identifiable pests continue to descend upon the hamlet. But mad and pestilence, illness and irritation abound. Okay. Uh, okay, Monocle... Monocle? Monica had a good time. Phoebe's a little less stressed, too. Yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes here this week. It's not looking too good. Uh, who's at the stage, coach? We need to get someone new for the team. Uh, we have a shield breaker, imposter syndrome, an ashen, but lurker, and a scrounger. Antiquarian. Antiquarian's an interesting one. This basically is a class designed to get you more loot on an adventure. Uh, that's why you take them. Uh, in combat, they're like kind of strictly weaker than almost every other class. If you want more money, that's a good one to take. Uh, we do have a Helion that we're going to be using soon. Uh, it's probably in our best interest to have at least one other here, uh, uh, one other Vestal, just for healing. Uh, they're a very Sister valuable battle, class. Pious and unrelenting. Oh, but they get stressed if they're idle in town. Okay. Okay. Uh, we still need. We we need to add Joey. Uh, we can get a shield breaker for the team. Shifting, swaying. We'll take an antiquarian as well. Pray before the final strike. Okay. Uh, who do we want in what role? Maybe we give this one to Joey. Gotta get Joey in. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld and Kramer are both dead. Uh, which means that it's now time for the rise of Fraser. And we'll have to get his brother in too. Is it, it's Miles. Is it Miles or Niles? Niles. I, I, I really want to watch Fraser at some point. I just haven't really seen it. I've heard very good things. Heard quite good things. Okay, so we'll get Fraser and Niles. Um, entire cast of Seinfeld died on the last one. We're not going to have anyone else from Seinfeld take part. Uh, they're already gone. In the sitcom cinematic universe. We might need to up our roster size Word too. Is traveling. We can take more classes. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. Okay, we have Fraser. So I think, I think Monica, Monica, what does Monica need? She'll never drink. Can reduce the gambling treatment cost. I mean, we'll get that up. manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Uh, Monica, if she goes ha and has a good prey, because Mo Monica's still quite anxious after the last adventure, so we're gonna give her some time out. Max HP, but uh, death blow resist down. I mean, assuming that you just stay alive. It's pretty good. Uh, Ross, yeah, okay, Ross actually really needs time off. Ross needs time off. Get him in there. I've never, I don't think I've ever used the shield breaker. What exactly did they do? Are they kind of like a more tanky class? 
Do they have a shield? What do they do? Pierce? They're good at the front. Adder's kiss? Expose. That moves them back one. That's interesting. That moves them forward one. That gives them two blocks. Versatile and an armor pierce. Okay. Well, Joey's going to have to lead the next team. Actually, actually, Rachel might be able to. Yeah, I think Rachel's going to be able to. Might be your time to shine. You can, like, yell at them. Okay, so that means we're going to give Rachel the extra HP because she's going to be out in front. Uh, we can't give the padlock to anyone. Uh, we can take this trinket off of Ross. There we go. Put that on Rachel too, because she actually has a good stone. Okay, uh, unlocked facilities. We got Make the guild. No mistake. We will face ever greater threats. So the guild. Our soldiers must be ready. Guild basically lets you buy upgrades for your characters, so you can actually kind of tailor them a specific way if you so choose. Uh, it is actually pretty good, because uh, here. We're going to be able to get the Parity Heal of Divine Comfort, which I think is just really good for a Vestal to have. So, and what you can do now, because they can only have four active combat skills, is you can unclick one of them and assign it, see? So, we probably want... What position do we want them in? Probably the third slot. Probably the third slot. Divine Grace that works from there. So, Frazier is going to be able to have a parity heal now. That's pretty good. Uh, put Phoebe in for a moment. Phoebe has a really good one that's just a stun grenade. Yeah, the blinding gas. Uh, we probably want that. That, that. that one's very good. Uh, this is a chance to stun two enemies on use. You can just use the buff as well, but I, th I think that's what we do. I think with the, I, I, the stun is probably better than the buff. Like, like the buff is good in like if, if you're doing like a big boss fight or something. Fragile is just mocking us here. Like fragile is so bad. Yeah, just makes the character like strictly worse. Uh, what does the shield breaker get? What do I want for a shield breaker? Impale back one. That hits everything. I guess you use that with like the pierce to move forward, don't you? Who would a tank that can be used in one two? Yeah, I, I I might try that for jumping around. Let's get let's let's get Joey the impale. Let's get Joey the impale. That one just inflicts blight. Um, self two blocks. Uh, no, we're gonna go more aggro. With the Pierce. Pierce and impale. Yeah, that sounds good. Joey breaks through your shields with a how you doing. <laughs> Catches you off guard every time. Joey's too damn strong. Does Niles have anything good? <laughs> really don't think he does. Uh, N Niles is just going to be doing like his best. Get that nervous stab. Okay, so that's upgrades there. The There's also once again. a blacksmith. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. If we can upgrade the blacksmith even one rank, we can upgrade our base weapons to make them strictly better. This can improve your max HP and also just your damage. I, I, this one is huge. So we, we really need to upgrade the blacksmith. And we need to upgrade the guild too. We have enough stress relief for the next while. We're just gonna unlock. We're gonna unlock the like the two slot options, but then we're gonna focus on those.
The vapors and the guard ability are good. Yeah, we have force guard by ally. Protect me. That actually does seem quite good with the plus 10% prop. Yeah. Well, uh, so like basically that will make uh, someone else on the team a bit tankier. And then the enemy is all going to just hit him. Plus three dodge. For th oh, with the invigorating vapors, is it? That one's good. Okay, hang on. Let's get, let's get Niles in there then. Invigorating uh, vapors. We want, we want just a bunch of vapors. Maybe we have the stab just in case we need damage. That's probably better. That's probably better. There we go. Stab sucks? No, but we, we want something just in case we need damage. You're like setting yourself up for disaster if you don't have one move that hits them. Uh, does the point blank shot. If we set up uh, Chandler and the Shield Breaker, we could just like keep using their move back one abilities constantly. There is the Duelist Advance too. We could actually set up Chandler so he does that. Hang on, let's get him in there. I could get rid of the tracking shot. Tracking shot is quite good though, but we could just do like activate repost build and point blank. It might be better. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, Duelist Advance. We'll try point- we're gonna go point blank. Cause this is like a plus 50% damage modifier, like it's actually quite significant. And then we have the bleed for utility and like a pistol shot for range if we need it from the second slot. Yeah, that actually seems really cool. God, I- In case you can't tell, I'm a nerd for this game. I love all the customizable things. BT, thank you for the thousand bits earlier. What- what- uh, what drove you to the thought I want to be in pain today when you decide to play Darkest Dungeon? <laughs> I've never been able to finish this game. Not once. But I've always wanted to stream it. Like, I've, I've wanted to play this for years. How many hours do you play it? I think I've got like well over 60 hours or something. I've, I spent a lot of time playing it. I haven't played it in four years, mind you. So it's been a while. So I'm trying to like kind of get back into it and relearn everything. I'm excited though. Are you planning to finish it? We're gonna just see how we get on. Um, like I mean, this is this is one of those games where it's like you can get completely fucked over like 50 hours in, and that's it. Your, your heroes never recover. <laughs> it's very possible to just be set back like 20 hours in one run if things go wrong. Okay, the courtyard is open. Mark of the Outcast, Crimson Court. Oh, that seems really fucking good, though. That's like a really unique item. But I don't know if we should go in there yet. I don't know if we should go in there yet. There's a da there's a damage stone. Damage stone might be kind of good. Highwayman plus 5% crit. We can go somewhere new too. Get this for the occultist. We haven't met the occultist yet. Do not go to the courtyard. Do not go. Okay, we 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 yeah we won't we won't send like a level zero band of heroes in. We won't we won't do that. Chandler's gonna lead the charge. We're gonna have Joey and Chandler. Frazier's gonna be on heels. 
Uh, I guess that means we're going to have Niles. Okay, this is this is Frasier's episode this time. And we're going to hop over here. Complete 100% of room battles. These ones are just explore. Do we want that buckle? I think we want that buckle. Do we go runes again? We can unlock the boss, actually, if we do it. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 should, we should unlock the boss. Oh, no, but the, the, they'll, they'll get stressed because the level is higher, won't they? They'll get stressed because the level's one and they're level zero. Alright, we're gonna go here then. Go out into the woods. Take two shovels. Take eight torches. Take some food. Uh, what do we want here? I feel like it's venom and herbs. I don't know if we need a key. We have one key. <laughs> Take the blood. Take the blood. And take some bandages, too. And yeah, you gotta check everything with the antiquarian uh, for your loot, because they specifically will get more loot. I have a key. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> we want blood. Okay, so Seinfeld got absolutely cancelled. Seinfeld is dead. Um, complete massacre on the Just first episode. The soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Uh, but we now have the crossover the episode evil. with Fraser. The Fraser and Niles are here with Joey and Chandler. Okay, complete 100% of room battles. Could be a better layout, but we should be fine. They're already stressed. <laughs> Quite a bit. The act of sending them in seems to stress them out. Okay, come on, you can take him, Joey. You can cast Judgment. Judgment heals me a little as well. Uh, but we probably just want to keep us topped off best we can here. Welcome aboard, Fraser. He's got uh, he's got a bit of bulk, so he might be okay. Okay, and we can just uh, yeah, we can just pierce here, and then we can like duelist advance, activate repost, get a little stabbing. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. Joey, Joey's starting to bleed a lot. Unnerved, unbalanced. <laughs> okay, the blood's now gonna kill Joey, but we'll get him a bandage soon. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. The blood will kill Joey. Uh, if we do a stab here, we can finish it off. Holy shit, that's racking up a lot of damage. Oh, we can only do the impale when we're at the front, which isn't actually very good, is it? Yeah, just keep charging. Keep charging. Broken. Maintain the offensive. A minor antique. So this is what you get from the antiquarian, um from killing stuff. You just kind of amass these. Good, like, just good stackable loot that you can take with you. Uh, we were already very severely injured. I'm kind of hoping just for the next fight. That'll be all right. I'm hoping for the next fight. Wealth beyond We can just heal Joey up a lot. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. And see, as we explore the sack, well, as we open the sack, we get another minor antique. So we just need to make sure we're on the antiquarian, like, a lot here. I think I take a little bit of food because I'm nervous. Okay. 
Which one of them hits first as well? That actually is important for me to know, so I, I think it's Chandler each time. And these guys are gonna blight us to hell, but we need to get rid of the bleed. Good shot. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, we can get a good heal here. It's a sick repast. Got two that time. Uh, I can heal a target and give them resist, but that's not really going to help me. Uh, I can just give everyone dodge. Might as well. The hero is blighted. So I, I, I think we can outheal that for the time being. I think we should be alright. I want to use the big attack. Nice bleed. Divine comfort. Let's impale them. There we go. Must have high protection, which absorbs attack damage. Dots, blight, and bleed. Ignore pro and our effective means to take down these highly armored opponents. Yes, yeah, so this guy is 33%. Continually onslaught. Oh, that's actually really good here. Them oh, get him, Chandler. That's actually a sick amount of damage there. I don't want to kill it. Because I want to get in a cheeky heal. Okay. All went according to plan. So I, we can just spend the turn healing a little bit more. Get some target practice in. Oh, that's really good. Okay, and now we just finished them off. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. So if the game can actually pick up if you're taking too long and you're trying to cheese the mechanics to heal like that, uh, sometimes if you do that, it actually spawns more enemies in your face to punish you. Um, so you actually need to be a bit careful with that, uh, uh, like, doing that. The game is very unforgiven. <laughs> okay, unlocked strongbox. Contents are yours. A fortune. Waiting oh, we're getting so spent. much money. Yeah, so do, do I want Chandler or Joey in the lead? Speed is six, so I, I think I want Chandler in the lead, because typically he would go first. And I could do the point blank. The way is lit. The path is clear. We are required hey, let me loot this torch. Oh, forward. hey, a statue. <laughs> you get him from everything. Great. Okay, ectoplasm. Gotta be careful of these guys. Okay, sp speed doesn't mean anything here. Another one falls. These guys can uh, replicate themselves. Executed with him. Well, we're not. We're not worried here. A trifling victory. But a victory, Okay, a shallow grave. I can use a shovel on it. I don't think I want to do that. Um, are the herbs or the anti-venom good here? Maybe the bandage. I want to keep the shovels just because we like they're they're super valuable. Use the key. Use the shovel. Ah. All right, we might regret this, though. We might regret that. 
We might get in trouble later. Gotta keep one at the other shovel, though. We're getting hungry. All right. Pack is a map inside. Oh, it wasn't loot that time. If there's an obstacle, we, we so we don't actually even need to go that way, do we? No, we don't. There's a hellish battle over there. Oh, you can see the disarm chance as well. Highwayman's good here. Yeah, so we, we don't really want to go up there because it's just going to stress them out and we deal with a shovel. But we have to use a shovel, so we just kind of hop over here. A beast carcass. I think I can use some herbs on this. Is that the herbs or the anti-venom? Are the herbs. Oh, sweet food! Yeah, we're, 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 we're just eating away now. Got four models. grand gathered there. Paid for in blood. Let's get him. Yeah, yeah, so just just shank him for now. This one shouldn't be a long fight. Be gone, fiend. Oh, that is that's quite a good feeling with that one. <laughs> These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Chandler it seems to be ungodly powerful in our run. He's putting in work. Okay, this this could be scary because they can just all inflict bleed. Oh, they've got it out for Fraser. Oh, they really don't like. Him. Uh, that's unfortunate miss. Okay, give everyone dodge. Good for this A fight. Brilliant confluence of skill. And we impale the lot of them. I have a chance to kill that one. Uh, but no, we kind of need to heal. <laughs> so it doesn't rack up too much. Yeah, jo Joey and Chandler are doing really good here. I've never used like the shield breaker before much, I think. Okay, three to five damage. Just, just shank it. Can kill that one. Well struck. That can kill that good. one. <laughs> I'm doing great. So duelist advance. Yeah, it kills. Hope you brought band-aids. Honestly, they seem to be okay. They're not doing too bad here. You should probably consider putting that on before they get the bleed like stack on them. The heal of four, eh? I don't know how it's possible, but alright. The ground quakes. Just that good. Rare so antique, so a valuable find. You. Is it merely a trick of the light? Oh, she might have a healing buff trait, yeah. Plus 10 heal. No, only while camping. Frazier is just that good.
get our sack. Uh, enjoy the holy water. As the light gains purchase, and this should be the end. Are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay, uh, everyone dodge. It seems, is that really that inaccurate, or am I just getting horrifically unlucky? Most of the point blank shots have missed. That's 95, like, Jesus. Chan Chandler's really struggling, he's, he's farsighted. Come on, Fraser. Impale him. Dazed. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, Niles, hold on. Hang in there. What the fuck? He just got credit for all of his health! Oh, come on, Niles! Uh, can I use this on them? I don't think I can right now. I, I need to wait till it's their turn. I need to wait. Yeah, just uh, just get through this as fast as we can. Holy shit. Maybe we can impale them all and get lucky with the rolls here. There's only one left. Come on, just don't don't hit Niles. Do I go for the kill or do I heal Niles? I think I heal Niles just to get him off that door. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay, he's gonna be all right. He's gonna be okay. Holy shit! I got it out for him. I mean, over my head. Wait, what? Oh no, imposter syndrome. Jesus fucking Christ. A dizzying fall. Are we still not done? Oh no, I just need to take the loot, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, continue adventuring for one moment. There's a nice cop in here. Oh. Um, what do we use on an ancient coffin? Bandage, herbs, anti-venom? Is it the key? Use the shovel. I'll be honest, guys. I don't think much is working here. All right, I'll take I'll take another statue. Let's let's get out of here. The agents of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. So Fraser actually survived uh, an episode. They've been renewed. They'll be on the TV next week, unlike Seinfeld. Resolve level up. Heroes gain Resolve XP for each successful quest. Resolve XP in turn determines the hero's resolve level. Resolve level represents the hero's veteranship and directly acts as stress resistance against the horrors encountered in the dungeons. Low resolve level hero tr that tries a higher level quest will quickly crumble under the unimaginable stress. Okay, Joey's lost virtue. But Frazier is now a slugger. <laughs> Don't know how he got that. 
she has paid dearly for her freedom and deserves better than this place. Oh, there's a there's a new uh, shield breaker on the scene. If we want a second one. Stuff is intense need to do with specific actions. That sounds like it's going to be hard to work around. Uh, but okay, we'll, t we'll take another one. What's the name of Fraser's dad? <laughs> is it Dad's ear? <laughs> Mr. Fraser. It's Martin. Okay, Martin Fraser. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Papa Fraser. There we go. Papa Fraser joins the squad. Okay, uh, Monica has achieved enlightenment. Oh no, okay, they'll only meditate now. Right. That's fine. There's an occultist and a leper we can add. Plus 20% max HP when wearing no trinkets. 20% heal receive when wearing no trinkets. Plus 3 speed. Stun resist. Okay, um, we can take him in, I think. Leper is kind of like, can only operate in the front and really doesn't do much else. Uh, but we, we want to make sure we have at least one of every role. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the so same. So we're going to take him on board. Uh, okay, I think it's time for a new sitcom with the new gang here. People saying Mr. Bean. Is Mr. Kit Bean really a sitcom? I don't, I don't think so. I think it's like more sketch. I don't think it works. We could get Fodder Ted in. Okay. There's Fodder Ted. Uh, we do need a Fodder Dougal, but I feel like this would be more Fodder Jack. So, you know, the only things we'll ever hear him say is DRINK! Feck! Arse! Girls! Uh, if you haven't seen Father Ted, you're missing out on 50% of Irish culture in this country. Uh, I'd strongly recommend it. Strongly recommend it. Okay, let's get Father Ted and Father Jack in. Oh, we'll get, we'll get Dougal and Mrs. Doyle soon, too. Okay, uh, the sanatorium is now unlocked, so you can most often use it to remove negative quirks and treat diseases, but you can also use it to reinforce a positive quirk, which will lock it into place and prevent new positive quirks from displacing it. Um, so if your character has something really good that you want to just have them keep around, uh, this is a good place to go for it. I'm just trying to see if anyone has that. I, I think Ross becoming a warrior of light actually might be quite good. But that means we also need to get rid of Nocturnal on him, don't we? Get rid of Kleptomaniac. Yeah, actually, maybe we just get rid of Kleptomania. Yeah, in you go, Ross. Uh, we need to try and unlock... I should have bought that first. We need to try and unlock more slots there. Uh, the ones I really want are abilities unlocked and upgraded. Reduce the cost of weapon and armor upgrades. 
Allows skill upgrades to rank 2. Reduces their cost as well. Uh, we just need more paintings more than anything. Like, what are the two for these? Paintings and scrolls. Here we need uh, press and bus. Here we need paintings as well. We use a lot of our paintings on the pub. We need to use a few more. I want to get like gambling on that to at least rank two. Paintings don't stack high in the inventory, so they're one of the harder ones to actually get a hold of, basically, as the run goes on. Can you convert them? Could do. How many paintings do we need? No, I, I I need I need eight scrolls right now. No, that goes the other way. There we go. It's crests into them that we want. Okay, and this is gonna give us weapon and armor upgrades. We can get one. Which which do we value more? More HP for surviving might be really damn good. Yeah, I, I think armor. I think I think we play it Every safe. plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Oh, uh, we have something for Father Jack as well. He gets uh, the magic wand. There we go. But that does, that does actually completely counteract his special ability. Might not be worth it for the dodge. I think he's better without it, yeah. Okay, uh, well, on the next adventure. Oh no, oh no, he can't get that. That's right, because he needs to actually be of a certain resolve rank. We can get Chandler a better coat. Get Monica a better coat. Get Phoebe a better coat. Fraser a better coat. Get Joey one. It improves all their stats, like, quite dramatically. For the cost. It's definitely worth investing. Okay. Uh, armor is upgraded. Where do we fancy an adventure? The warrens have been unlocked. But we could also unlock the boss and the runes. If we really want to go for it. We need to decide what party we're exploring with. Ice cream, anyone, by the way. I think it's time for the Warrens. Yeah, we give them a go. Get some Musketeer boots. Although... Is there anything else that's really good here? Lead resist. The cove is unlocked. These artifacts are so damn good. I really want to go in that courtyard. I don't think we're ready. The courtyard is basically every time you go in the courtyard, you have to fight a boss. More or less. There's some, like, monstrosity waiting at the end. If it has a gold frame, it tends to be, like, way harder. Okay, so we might not be ready there yet. Uh, let's just go to the new area. Yep, yeah, we'll... we'll, we'll Check out one of the two. Wait, does anything give paints? This does give deeds. Okay, uh, uh, just check out the new area. Check out the new area. Uh, okay, Father Ted and Father Jack. Gonna pop them on the team. Uh, Niles and Fraser probably need some rest. We haven't got to use Rachel yet. Of 
could just squeeze Rachel in here. I Rachel could lead the team here. Father Ted in second is actually it's not terrible. That's just the buff, I think. Yeah. Intimidate. Oh no, that that hits everything, but it's like just doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, we have a healer in the form of Father Jack. Now, the Occultist is a weird one for healing, right? Heals between 0 and 13. I would like to establish now that this heals either 0 or either 13. There's almost always no in-between, and most of the time it's 0. <laughs> This is, the, this is the gamble heal. Uh, we don't have room for Papa Frazier on this team. Uh, but, you know, we could just take Phoebe. The scorned. Uh, that, that's, that seems okay. Give that a go. Okay, this is a short one as well, so we only need, like, so much. Do I need a bandage? Am I just gonna take- I'm just gonna take bandages. I feel like we just take a bit of everything. Do you want any holy water? No Phoebe. <laughs> Someone in chat earlier was saying they like hate Phoebe. It's like, oh god, not them. The blood, the blood. We're not taking the blood. We don't need it. The worst friends character. There's some Phoebe slander here. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's wish him well. I think we'll be all right. Wait, Phoebe's scared of the Warrens? They breed quickly down there in the dark. <laughs> no, or she perhaps is. we can slay them even faster. She'll be okay. Sometimes you gotta face your fears. Okay, there's two room battles down there. A rack of blades. I think you can use the bandage so you don't cut yourself on these. A lot of extra food. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Uh, journal pages are basically lore. You can like kind of document them back in the estate. Typically, you kind of toss these though, in all honesty, just because you want to carry more loot. Cool for lore though, if you want to collect it. 60. Hey, come on, Phoebe. Mind that such missteps are the exception. That's probably why she's scared of the Warrens. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, we can surprise him though. Okay, so stun. Now, two of them won't have turns. Which is always pretty good. Uh, if I can try and get one of these guys dead, I think that's like the best outcome. Maybe mark him just so he does a bit less. He takes the extra damage even. I can iron swan that and just kind of kill it, but I don't think I want to do that yet. I think I want to try kill this one. And hew it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, Ted's all right. Uh, we can get some abyssal. Okay, no, Jack's had a bit too much to drink. 
You're okay, Phoebe. Don't let it get to you. Don't mind the drums. Just don't let it get to you. Uh, they don't have any additional stun resist, so I can just stun them again. It's actually pretty good. Okay, get him, Ted. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. We can artillery them. Okay, uh, this time we can just play grenade and hopefully set them close to dying. Nope. Oh, they have actually quite a bit of light resist, don't they? Body's out of the way. Actually, probably wasn't that smart because I could have iron swanned. That's all right. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Rachel seems quite strong here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna chance a roll on Ted. Pretty good. It's thirteen. Their formation is broken. Maintain. The what do you want? Stock up on supplies. We have to go down here. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. You just hear the pigs roar. Yeah, there's a lot of background noise in this dungeon. They're maggots. We surprise them. Don't know what that looks like. Count as beast and not eldritch. Uh, I could try and heal Phoebe up. Nice. Nice. Be gone, fiend. This is four to eight, four to eight. As the fiend falls, we got a bit unlucky. A faint hope blossoms. All right, I can't do too much damage. Just gonna stress Phoebe out more. Aha! Phoebe can heal for one! Uh, no, just, just finish it. The trifling Game will green. punish you if you try to take advantage of it. Nonetheless. Okay, Phoebe, have a snack. I'm stress eating ought to help you out here. Okay, this, this looks a little more fearsome. Stun. Uh, I think if I mark this, I'll probably be able to kill it. Yeah, now it's like 6 to 12. Nine. There we go. Okay, uh, Ted, you just get to work there. It seems to be doing well. The problem is I really shouldn't have brought Phoebe. She's having a rough time of it. Uh, go, go for an extra stun. Be cheeky. Uh, too cheeky. Okay, uh, we need to get him down real quick now, or he's gonna... Ah, oh, Jack's alright. Could have been worse. Okay, uh, just hew here. The body has been marked. Play grenade. Plague Doctor in general doesn't seem to be doing well here, does it? Phoebe's, Phoebe's really struggling to have much of an impact. If I can Iron Swan that one. That's pretty good. It's always as if we were warning you, Dad. I thought people really just hated Phoebe. I'll be honest with you. 
I wanted to give her a chance and like, like a moment in the spotlight. Not standing for the slander here. Okay, we're gonna heal Ted. Okay, he's bleeding now, but he's got a net heal of one. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates heal up. a dizzying fall. Eat some more food. Uh, what does this do? The bone altar. You want to touch it, Phoebe? Oh, okay. Oh, I actually did pretty well. It gives you a damage buff. There we go. Our one damage plague grenades get hit really hard. It's like, oh shit, you better watch out. Okay, get it, Phoebe. <laughs> Cruel machinations spring to life. He has the highest odds, but I'm not convinced. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. 70% chance. Doesn't feel like it. Uh, a pile of bones. We have anti-venom and herbs. Does that do anything? Bandages, I think. Uh, you know, Phoebe, just touch it. <laughs> oh, thank God she resisted. Jesus Christ, Phoebe! In radiance, may we find. Oh, no wonder she hates it here. Okay, uh, I mean, it's only a curio that way, so we're better off going this way. No, Ted! Ted's now bloodthirsty. Fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. I, I don't remember that episode. Oh, no, Ted. Oh, I got... <laughs> Oh, she got it that time. <laughs> okay, let's heal Phoebe up. I'll take it. Uh, I can get one stun off. Still better than none. Uh, damage modifier, minus 100%. That's just a chance to stun both of them, but then you do less damage. I think I just want to do damage. I think I can kill this guy. I'll just get started. Great. Exposed oh! To healing blow. Jack, no! Okay, Jack, you're gonna heal yourself. Nicely done. Okay, get rid of the cause of the stress. If we can. If I can play grenade that fella, it'll kill him. There we go. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, we just want to chop. Just to guarantee that we kill this fella. Uh, there we go, Ted. Ah, uh, get some more healing out. Nice job, Jack. Father Jack's doing his best. Got a lot to drink. Oh, come on, Ted. He's so inaccurate. More 
mortality clarified in a single strike. Jack, no! God, he is heavy blight resist. There we go. It's becoming really clear who the best characters are in each team, isn't it? <laughs> Like, there's not even a contest for, like, who's contributing the most here. Like, like Rachel is, like, carrying the team. Head's doing a bit of work. Okay, this is, this is the last uh, encounter, so... Let's just enjoy the food. Yeah, Ra Ra Rachel's doing so well. It's all the squad from friends that seem to be performing better. Okay, this is... Ooh, this is gonna be an icky fight. I think I do this and then I iron swan that one. I think I can kill the two of these. Get the play grenades off. That's four. I mean, in theory, it would have worked really well if that one move hit. It would have been really good. Uh, now we're just in trouble. Can I mark myself? Yeah, go on, Ted. Take a few. Come on, Ted! Jesus Christ, that's five turns of bleed. Phoebe, you're gonna be alright? Grievous injury. Oh Palpable fear. It's the stress that's the real problem right now. Hey, get him, Jack! Blow. There we go, yeah, that's basically two dead. That only works on the self. Buff self plus 20 damage. Uh, I think here, though, we kind of just need to get one more down as fast as we can. Uh, I can stop the bleeding. There we go. We should be alright from here. We can't cause too much damage. Get a cheeky heal in. It's never in between. It's always like one of the extremes. That's pretty good. You're all right, Ted. About to break. Why is that stressing out Phoebe so much? Oh, she's courageous. So sometimes when they snap. They actually become heroic. Now, you can't count on this because it's like only a slight chance. Uh, yeah, this is virtuous. Deve this elevated state of performance will last until they suffer a large amount of stress or return to town. And confer stack bonuses and utter benefits. So... I can't remember what exactly this is like kind of inferring. Oh yeah, plus 15% damage, plus 10 accuracy, plus 5% crit. Is that from this or is that from... Pole? I think we had that already. Yeah, that's from the Curio. She's courageous now, though, so she's gonna be doing, like, way more in combat. Uh, it's just a shame. That's the end of the momentum. adventure. Push on to the task's end. We're done now. It did heal a bunch of her stress, at least, though. Should be a, should be a lot calmer. Yeah, let's uh let's Some head on home. Should have never happened. You are doing just work. We push our sitcom them. characters to complete the mission at all costs. Scientific, which is a bad thing apparently. Divine grace minus 20% heal and received. Divine comfort minus 20% heal and received. Okay. 
Father Jack is now an explorer. Phoebe's now scared of the ruins as well. But okay with the cove. A wash in blood and delusion. Oh, we get another one. Of a thousand lifetimes. Blood scourge. Oh, this is a flagellant. There is power in the blood. For those with the fortitude. Weapon tinker imposter price. syndrome. This is a weird choice for Father Dougal Maguire. Um, <laughs> he's normally a bit calmer in the show, but maybe he's tired of living in Ted's shadow in this universe. Father Dougal's finally snapped. Yeah, so uh, you can use this twice per battle and it heals you a significant amount of HP. Uh, the flagellant is all about inflicting bleed on absolutely everything. Campin, I think they have less skills than the other characters, yeah. Remove disease. Oh no, Phoebe's disease, speaking of. Bad humors. Jesus Christ, Phoebe, you're not gonna have any HP left at this rate. <laughs> She's losing more and more. She's wasted away. Hey, get 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 that sorted. Get that ironed out. With enough ale, I need to expand the pub. Because now I can fit two people in there for like a reduced amount. Okay, Father Jack likes his drink. Ed likes a bit of drink as well, so we'll get them in there. Get them unwinding. Niles is debatable if Niles needs uh, any help right now. Uh, there's musketeers. There's two musketeers. Possessed by demons and manic for money. It hates the Eldritch and is evasive. Hippocratic. Scout and chance. Experiences religious visions and delusions. Bleed resist. Do I get a free musketeer because I have the DLC? We could just not take one for now if we want. Am I gonna get like a free one like next round or something? I guess we could get Mrs. Doyle here, yeah. Patch up? Buckshot? Which one do we want? Skeet shot. Okay, that like clears a bunch of shit. Do you want the first or second musketeer? This one's evasive. Hates the Eldritch. I think the, the evasive one might be better actually, uh... Yeah, the second musketeer. A champion mocks woman. Keen for a new kind of challenge. Okay, Mrs. Doyle is here to kill our enemies with a nice cup of tea. How would you not have a drop? As the cast of Father Ted represented. The only other sitcom to actually last long enough to stock their entire cast. Oh, we do have, we do have three characters from Frasier, though. I think it's just Seinfeld that's dead. Seinfeld died, like, immediately. Okay. Uh, we can send someone to the treatment ward. I, I want to do a full round of the Father Ted cast soon. If I can. We could get Chandler in here for a while. 
town will never drink. That costs so much money to remove. Holy shit. Oh, I forget how much, like, even cement in one actually costs as well. Okay, get rid, rid of uh, Ross's uh, Nocturnal. Send him in there. I don't think I have enough for the upgrades here yet. Okay, uh, Mrs. Doyle, here's your new boots. There she go. I'll take it. That should be everything for now. Can I upgrade the roster size soon? Okay, Warren's is level one. I want to get the runes to level two. I I really want f us to fight our first boss. I think that's what we're gonna gear on up for. Rachel could probably just take another run of it. I'll keep Chandler handy for a boss. We can use Dougal and Mrs. Doyle. They're best in the back. Uh, Dougal is best second. Uh, we can just get Joey back in action here, I think, as well. Uh, I think Frazier is gonna Frazier's gonna need to help us again. We're gonna have to split up the sitcoms a bit. Lead is horrible in the runes. Um, I mean, I just want to try them out. We 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 need to use them. You're not playing optimally. Using the cove. We're not going to the cove. We're going to the runes. Okay, Rachel, you're back. You're back in again. Yeah, right. Rachel's just putting in work. I just just putting in work. Let's go with that. Do we want to try a darkness run? You feeling ballsy? Do we want to? Could go for the loot run. I fate in the team. Yeah, I think we tried the darkness run. We gotta do a darkness run. Okay, no torches. Here we go. I believe in Rachel. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble Oh, this is mind. the worst possible layout. This is like an even split. That's uh, that's pretty unfortunate. We're gonna have to explore every inch of the place. There we go. <laughs> these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. So a darkness run, significantly increased loop. You can disarm the trap. Come on, Joey. Ambushed by foul invention. A decorative urn. Surely this is holy water. Look at all that loot. We are, we're already making bank. Okay, a bookshelf full of letter-bound books. 
I think the one you don't do is the torch on this because you actually burn the bookshelf and that stresses you the fuck out. I don't think I have anything that I can use for the books though. I I think it's just gonna just gonna hurt. I use holy water on the books. No. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just ignore it for now. Here we go. The gang is here. And they are ready to do battle. Okay, we're gonna iron, iron swan him. I want to make sure that he dies. There we go. Actually, I'm not gonna iron. Well, actually, no, I can still do this. Great. He's just gonna be causing stress. Stress is the main problem. Not the best start. Okay, Buckshot is half damage and then has knocked back a one. Aim shot is more damage against the mark. Okay. Another abomination cleansed from all. Get him, Mrs. Doyle. Yeah, we can yap him. <laughs> Frazier is almost completely stressed. Oh no. Okay. Shoot the cause of stress. Get damage in where we can. I think I might be able to kill that. I can kill one of them. Oh, I can kill him, guaranteed. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Hardy comfort. Soothed. Sedated. And impale. Is broken. Maintain and another party heal. We top ourselves off very well here. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Jesus. Rachel, no! Okay, we can dodge him. We're gonna get through okay. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Look at all that loot we got. There's we got a paint. We're doing so good already. Locked sarcophagus. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Even more loot. Now it must be carried home. <laughs> Even the game's like. You sure you want to do this? This is, this is looking real grim for you. Are you sure? Are you sure? Can I use that with the bookcase? Will that do some good with the bookcase? Or is that just the one that stresses you? I thought I thought there's one where you just set a book on fire and it's just like the worst choice. We're not getting any scouting chances, by the way. It was burning the scrolls that caused the stretch. Maybe the bookcase will actually do something good then. Can we do anything with the ashes? Also, thank you for the tier three earlier. <laughs> I mean, that's not the worst disease. Frazier's just gonna be healing anyway. Yeah, get 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 back in there, Frazier.
Uh oh. Oh, but I can kind of reposition this way. Gradually make our way back. You jump on back there. Okay, Frazier. Frazier, you're taking a bit of a beating. Uh, just, just parody heal. Compassion is We're gonna need it. In the fevered pitch of battle. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be okay. Gotta have faith. If I impale now, that's gonna be bad because that jettisons our healer to the front, which we probably don't want to do. So let's just take down one As of the them. The fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. There we go. Back in position. Party heal. Crit a two. Go back. Now that's numbers. Get shooting. It's more stressful than it looks. No, wait, no, it's less stressful than it looks. It looks very stressful. Batch up. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Okay, I can impale here. Alrighty, heal. Should be alright. There's no crit 17s, please. As life ebbs. This is Doyle, no! Emptiness reveal themselves. Patched up. If only to bleed again. Yeah, I can impale here to shuffle him a bit and get the right move on the one in the back. Destroy them all. Actually, no, I can just shoot here. I can just shoot. There we go. Get him, Mrs. Doyle. Going well. Pride precipitates a dizzying fall. We're all still healthy. Only one that store. I think she's gonna be okay. Oh, Mrs. Doyle might turn out to be heroic or something. It's gonna help us. He has a trap up here. Food for hunger. Okay, Mrs. Doyle. Uh, no. No, you, you really can't handle Okay, Rachel. All right. All right. Mind that such missteps are the that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, there's only at least two more fights we gotta clear. I have a torch for the bookshelf. Let's try it. No, I didn't do anything. Uh, we gotta just continue. Burn off other forms of media except for friends. <laughs> this is the real goal. Okay, I need to keep at least four food just in case we get caught out, right? Is 
That's all the food we can afford. Hopefully, yeah, it's just maggots. It's just maggots. They can't cause too much damage. Back to the pit. Parity heal. Every time we do that, we get eight back. Actions remain in one, so I should probably shoot you. Another one falls. There we go. Just get it down. Don't chance anything. Win the fight when you can. Brought low and driven into the mud. Have a shovel. That might be the last fight. I'm hoping it is. Keep the torch handy. Pack's already been looted. Okay, Rachel. Here we go. Stress relief. Okay, here we go. It's a big boy. That moves me back one. I don't really want to go back one. Eradicated. I can just kill him instantly. It's okay. Plan is maintained. Let's shoot him and then we can finish him off. Come on, Frazier. Slight roll is all we needed to win there. Frazier's not feeling good. I mean, he does hear the blues of Colin. There we go. Size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Okay, bad news, gang. Uh, there's an additional two fights. So we're not in the. and baubles paid for in blood it's okay I didn't need those torches so just a couple of skeletons these fights aren't nearly as hard executed with impunity usually you're always gonna make it home Uh, I actually can't really shoot that one unless I do the buckshot. Um, just get some healing in. Yeah, the musketeer really is just like the Arbalus, isn't, isn't she? Kind of like the same role. Range, a little bit of healing. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Goodbye, journal. Uh, fly shovel. Oh, she literally is the Arabalus. Is it just a re is it just a reskin? There's no difference. Oh, okay, right. So they are the same thing. It's like someone someone around the game was like, I want a gun in my character. Quite the same. Blind fire's not here. It is. It is a slight tweak. It is a slight tweak. Okay. Uh, last fight, gang. 
We're gonna get a bit of food in. We're gonna make it home. Somehow we surprised them. Just, just heal the, the wounds gang. of war can be healed, but never hidden. This is a war American magic shoot. Well, I think it's only really worth American if it's like a really big guy, like a boss or something. If they just stay alive longer if American now. You're all right, Joey. I can kill that one. Crit self heal. Nice. You know, like, all in all, it wasn't that bad considering we were doing all this in the dark. Like, I think this could have been way worse, in all honesty. We got a cheeky and fail in here. You do get better music as well if you fight in the dark. It is true. The book shot it. As victory Can you adventure it? We just need so to open the box. Will resistance. There we go. I think they did great. Devils remanded to their abyss. No one went insane as well. Got a load of supplies. Uh, okay, Rachel now believes she's possessed by demons. But increased damage in the runes. So, mixed bag. Joey's calmer in the cove. Frasier now is egomaniac. <laughs> I mean, that's just accurate to the show, if anything. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Uh, oh, stress reduction is t in town is now slightly less effective. The town is a buzz. Okay, concern is rising. A uh, bit unfortunate, but sh yep, should be all right. At home in wild The survivalist places. is now here. She is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. So the survivor uh, lets you redo your campfire abilities. You always get some ones that are specific for your character, and then you get like a few general ones. See? So like, like Phoebe can actually get some pretty good, damn good ones here, like self-medicate, rem remove dis uh, 50 percent heal, extra healing for battles. I think I want that one. Yeah. That one's pretty good. Oh, they can, they can have four max. Okay. Yeah, leeches can remove disease, so it is another way to actually cure them. So maybe we'll get Frasier. Go see Phoebe later. I think by doing that... There we go. Kill the Necromancer Apprentice. Oh, we gotta do a boss. Look at that nice blood splatter. Sculptor's Tools. Very rare. Plus 40% damage versus stonework. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> sure. There is something for the Helion if we go in the courtyard. I'm just trying to work out what the team is going to be for the boss. Um, I think it might be Ross and Chandler again. I think it's time for Monica to go back in, in into the fray. Um, I could send Phoebe in again, but she's now scared of the ruins as well. She's scared of fucking everywhere. 
I don't want to send Niles in, because Ni Niles, like, it's for treasure runs. Could send Joey in again. Joey got true the last expedition, like, remarkably okay. Okay, fr friends, yeah, friends team is gonna do it. Friends team is gonna do it. Um, I just have to decide on the order. Is the, I mean, the, the Chandler and Joey are supposed to swap places. But, um, Ross needs to be in the front. Maybe I don't bring Joey. Joey might be too much. He's gonna upset the order too much. Radiant, thank you for the raid. How's it going, man? Good to see you. How's it going, folks? You're all very welcome. Uh, welcome to Sitcom Darkest Dungeon. We currently have the cast from Friends, the cast from Father Ted, and the cast from Frasier. Uh, all fighting unbelievable Elder Chars. Get Holy Lance on Ross and it's alright. Oh, you can move forward as well. Do they all just move forward? We just have like the reshuffle gang. Okay, alright, we'll, we'll get that on Ross. It's gonna be a weird looking team. I need to get Divine Comfort uh, on Monica then. Uh, who had some of our items? Yeah, we we kind of need these on Ross. Let's get there. I can keep the boots. Is that like that just makes like that's a whole five extra hit points. That's that's pretty damn good. It's, t it's time for the pivot team, yeah. <laughs> See if we can upgrade anything more. I, I can't afford... No, I, I, I wait, if I, if I do this right, and I'm not dumb... In the I end, can get them extra weapons. Every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. And I think, do I have enough to... No, I don't have enough to do the other one. Okay, so we can get the gang some new kit. New sword. New guns. Shiny new mace. New spear. There we go. I can sell these off if I want to. But, I mean, we don't really need extra money. Plus bleach skill chance. Jester only plus 7% crit. <laughs> if we get a Jester, that's actually amazing. There's actually, like, a, there, there's a, a set, team setup that's quite... That I remember being insane back in the day, where you have three Jesters, and I think, like... I think it's a Plague Doctor or something? You have like one other class, or three jesters and a cultist or something. Basically, you wait until it goes dark, and you constantly just keep shanking them with like unbelievably powerful moves. With like really high crit modifiers. I'm gonna- I'm picking those up, yeah, fuck it, that, that's gonna be fun later. Let's get the jesters dice. Okay, and I just need more bits in general there. Here's the graveyard. Seinfeld's been late the rest. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's nothing that drinking can't solve here. But we're gonna send a bunch of them off to the pub. Frazier's real badly hurt. Um, get some drink in him. 
There we go. Go around to the pub. That'll be all right. Uh, we'll get Rachel doing an old prayer. Just heal off the stress. Anyone new? Oh, there's a jester! There is a jester. Some quirks are unique, meaning only one hero per roster can have them at a time. Unique quirks are shown by the special symbol to the left of the quirk name. If you want that hero to have the unique quirk, you can remove it in the sanatorium, like other quirks. This can be useful if you're trying to get that quirk to develop on a more suitable hero. Twilight Dreamer ignores stealth. Oh, they've got Finale as well. So this is the one you use with the Jesters. It's damage modifier plus 50%, but they go to the back of the pack. And it's insane crit modifiers. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we need to get our Jester. Uh, we need a sitcom that's a one-man show. Like, just one person. Oh, wait, no, I can't get him. Our, our barracks are full. Uh, Papa Fraser. uh, yeah, we, 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 we can get you back. We haven't invested in them. <laughs> there you go. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. Okay, a one-man show for a sitcom. I don't know if Mr. Bean is a sitcom. I don't know if he's classified as that. Grim, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Truman, it's just Jim Carrey. <laughs> it's just Jim Carrey. Okay, perfect. There's Jim Carrey's dice. All right, let, let, let's prep. Let's prep old Jim here. Oh, he needs to level up a bit first. Uh, I actually do. I need to get something on Ross, didn't I? I need to get Holy Lance. I've never really used that, have I? I do need Holy Lance here. I, I think I just do that, maybe. That's probably better. Okay, Jim Carrey is here. Special character. Uh, what, what abilities do we want? We have Finale. I take it we want the Dirk Stab? Take it, we want the Dirk Stab. Should probably have invested in this. Save some money. Buff cell finale plus 30% damage. Yeah, that, that actually seems pretty good. You can only use it once per battle. So you want to make sure you get it right. And then you just dirk stab the shit out of them. You can use a solo twice per battle. That that buffs the finale with plus 75%. Holy shit. But I guess we could just take that to reduce stress. It might be too much to to go all in on the one move here. Inspiring 2 might be good just for st stress in general. That does still buff the finale as well. Oh, everything buffs the finale. Jesus. Okay, right. Well, we're fine. Yeah. Everything seems to buff it. He 
Jim Carrey's coming for you. You better watch out. Okay, but not for this encounter. This is the one that the cast of friends may must face on their own. Oh, I forgot to get the group heal. Thank you. Good, good shout. Hang on. Monica is gonna need that. That's uh, very valuable. I think judgment is better too. Illumination. Hand of light. Take that maybe. I think judgment's the one you want. Okay, we're ready. Yeah, we get a campfire for this, too. It's our first boss, so we're gonna be a bit over-prepared rather than under-prepared, right? Bring our holy water. Get our bandages. We should have enough curios. We're poor now. The dice was robbery. We need this dice. We need it for Jim Carrey. Just you wait. Jim Carrey's gonna be the most powerful character we have eventually. The blood. No, we're not taking the blood. We need to save that blood for now. Do we need everything? Do we need everything? What? What? What do I want? What do we need? Holy water and keys in the rooms. Let's just go. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Now you get some divine proper the lore. import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat. Ancestor's done some bad stuff the in his time. walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Yeah, we gotta track him down. This is, this is a monstrous sized dungeon. Wait, minus plus... Why are you so stressed? Oh no, mine is 20% stress. Cross is calm. I think. Let's get him. Another one falls. This is the best of the best. Another abomination. Cleansed from our lands. And they mean business. Just do that for funsies. Executed with impunity. Oh, look at this team go. It feels weird having a crusader in the third spot, I'm gonna be honest with you. It does feel very wrong. I feel like they should be second just in case they need to tank a hit or two. And then we just shuffle more. It's quite good with the lance though. Yeah, the, the lance actually does a lot against Unholy. Yeah, sure, fuck it. It's a very different episode of Friends. Couch gag, well, the, not the couch gag intro, that's, that's Simpsons. Oh no, it's still a couch intro. The couch intro was different. That's how you can tell. Altar of Light. Plus 30% damage.
Ross is out for blood. Oh, we got a super secret room. This is what you bring the keys for. Oh, these always have good loot. How are they hungry already? Probably because Joey's there. Okay. An alchemy table. What are we thinking? Herbs on this? Disinfect the station. Yeah, we get some money for it. More heirlooms. Let's just stock up for now. Okay, so as you're walking, when you reach the secret room, press W. And you get to go off to the side and there's an ancient artifact. Use the key. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Oh! Now it must be carried home. Okay, so we got we got some of the best items in the entire game, off the bat. That's actually wild. These are so damn good to get. They do stress you out more, but in combat you are going to survive so so much more. That is unbelievably lucky. Can I equip them now? Yes, I can. So, plus healing skills. And plus 25% protection. Unbelievably good. Uh, we'll give Chandler some extra help. Yeah, if you if you have a setup for like a good stress heal, like these these are quite good. We we don't really have a stress heal here. They will stress us out a bit more, but like it's plus thirty percent. It's so huge. Uh, this is just worth like thirty five hundred gold as well. Okay, and the nice thing is we don't have to do that fight now. We can we can just turn around. Forward is always to the right in this game. There's two fights if we want to get the treasure, but we do have a, like a boss battle, so we're just gonna actually steer clear if we can help it. Trap disarm is 110%. Chandler can not only disarm the trap, he can turn it into a weapon to use against the enemy. They have a chance of being caught in it now. Holy shit, our food. Why are they so hungry? Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Get through here. Disarm the trap. I'm guessing the boss is in that top left room. It kind of feels like it just makes sense. A handsome reward for a task well performed. As long as I don't get hungry again in a moment, I think we'll be alright. Food driven cord. Okay. It's time for the A team to shine. Here we go. Gonna impale them all. Kill that one. As the fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Oh my god, like that does so much damage. That's 11 12. Destroy. That's actually unbelievably powerful. Oh, you're alright, Joey. Oh, Jesus, don't scare us like that now. Chandler is not playing games. 
So I can heal. That's gonna start doing six now thanks to the healing buff. How quickly the Never mind. turns. But I got it out for Joey, he'll be alright. Be wary. A uh, plus blight Triumphant skill chance. Precipitates a dizzying fall. Uh, we do need the Peyton as well. Absolutely need the pain. The way is lit. The path is clear. Let's drop a we torch. I think we'll be all right. The strength to follow it. Oh, the boss is down there. Okay, so we can just get a treasure room. We only have one more fight to go. So basically, we do this next fight, and then we can't fire up and buff for the boss. So damn ready. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Can I interact with this if I don't have anything? Can I just use holy water on it? You can use. A, can you use the torch on it? There, there is one thing that like fucking kills you if you use a torch. The torch maxes the light level. Oh, okay. Just, just leave it. Just leave it, yeah. Okay, this is our last fight before the boss that we need to do. And we mean business. They mean to kill Joey. Jesus, they're all fucking gunning for him. Okay. Get these guys down. I can holy lance them in a mo. Divine grace for heal. A momentary abatement. Like 10 to 20, 11 to 20. I can just one shot kill this guy. Be gone, fiend. It's actually so good with like the shufflers. Because we can just always make it so he's in Holy Lance position. I can heal for seven now thanks to the head. Just give him a cheeky impale just to get the point blank in. Press this advantage. God, it's so damn no powerful. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, uh might as well just eat up. Uh, this is an unlocked strong box. Oh, it's still trapped, though. Okay, I think we just rest up and prep for the boss. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. I can give him a feast specifically just to but like get rid of some of the stress. We're topping them off. Okay, so I, I clean guns tends to be like a really good one. I can get some extra protection. Reduce stress overall. One companion of religious minus 20% stress for four battles. Uh the the Crusader I imagine is religious. So Get that in. Clean up your guns. Get some extra protection. Uh, and we can just take some of the, the edge off Joey, I think. Oh, wait, one companion can't be marked. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. Not, not everyone has, like, marking abilities.
Just heal up. Having an amazing night's rest. Cast of friends is doing well. As the light gains purchase, the snakes are everywhere. Wait, what? And purpose is made clear. Shieldbreaker is scared from past trauma. She must navigate a series of seven flashback battles while camping. One battle per camp. Once those battles are completed, she can camp peacefully forever. Oh, okay. R right, and that one stealthed. Okay, a little bit unfortunate. I, I didn't think that would be happening. It's guarded by the Rattler. So I think we just kill this? 24 health. Oh, don't take too much damage here, gang. 20 stress per round. What? It's a little high. Well struck. Get on, Monica. Okay, Duelist Advance. We're gonna get our own repost active. Okay, and then we're gonna... Yeah, we can just kill him. Continually onslaught. One less monster. Destroy them all. How do the nightmares manifest themselves so that the rest of the team is in jeopardy in this battle? That's some pretty powerful nightmares. Might want to bandage up. Uh, this is no longer stealthed as well. I mean, it's going to be sheltered by this, I think. There we go. <laughs> you can heal for eight now as well. It's so good. Um, just try and get back in position. There's no music, so it's a bit eerie. Six damage around, Jesus fucking Christ. Annihilated. A beautiful thing. I mean, a beautiful thing, they say. Flaws is the sea of dunes, graceful as a desert wind, captivated as a shimmering mirage. They stare, they linger, they watch me without blinking. Elyon only. Mysterious scale, shield breaker only. Okay, uh, pop that on ya. Gee, I, I'm gonna lose most of Joey's help before we go into the boss. I'm gonna have to just eat up. Uh, Age scales are dropped by snakes who come from the Shieldbreaker's homelands. These scales can be consumed by heroes to provide a single damage block of protection. The next attack that hits the hero will do zero damage. Okay. That that blight is really fucking bad. Maybe should have popped that first. There's nothing I can really do. There goes Joey's help. Glittering gold trinkets. Gonna have to start the next fight with just like a bunch of healing. Pour in blood. Uh, what do we toss? Might still need the bandages. Oh, then we're gonna need a shovel. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay. Uh, get some holy water in. Get some extra holy water. Oh no, I double stacked holy water. It's fine. 
It's fine. Okay, yeah, we just need to heal Joey. Joe, Joey's seeing better days. He has nightmares. Uh, the snakes that got him in Italy, I think. All right, let's go. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare made. The flesh is willing. Okay. We're really, yeah, we're really gonna need to heal you. Masterfully executed. Let's clear the line. Uh, I can inflict some blight. I think it's best for me to just jab. Oh, that's awkward. The hero will suffer stress if I simply pass, so we're gonna just swap. Heal up Joey. It's gonna be all right now. Claw and dead. Okay, there we go. We can do something with Ross now. There we go. We kind of need to keep that up as well with Ross, don't we? So I should probably just keep Duelist advancing at least for a while. Because the damage that we get off is insane. Impale this lot, because these two swapping places probably makes more sense. Vigor is restored. Get a big group heal in. Come on, Chandler. Oh yeah, he's a bit too far forward now. I didn't do this right. That's fine. Uh, that's all right. We'll get we'll get him back. Compassion is a rarity in the field. I think we've got this fight pretty much under control. Six feet under. That just stress. That just stresses everyone out a little bit. Keep charging four and just line them up. There we go. Impressive. This is a pretty good return. Okay. There we got him. To actuate them, will these walking bones finally fail? Cast of friends has succeeded. These nightmarish creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Cast of friends is doing great. Cost that 25 gold. Uh, I think we'd. Oh, yeah, wait. wait. Oh, no, I, I meant to click continue. I was thinking we could keep going a bit. That's fine. I think we did great there. Sculptor's tools plus 40% damage versus stone. I feel like that's good for like one boss in the game, and that's gonna be it. Okay, healer's gift. Pretty good. That that's actually kind of amazing. That's that's also really good. Skilled gambler. He's increases increases the chance of winning while gambling. Monica's gonna do well in the casino now. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Oh, the stress reduction activities in town are slightly less effective. Uh, there we go. Well, look, our first boss is defeated. The sitcom gang is putting in work. Don't really have room for anyone new right now. 
don't have enough of anything to upgrade them. I have 52 busts. Jesus. I think I can use them here to maybe get the cloister improved. I can maybe get so it's like double prayers. You can exchange them. Yeah, but like the, the rate is kind of abysmal. The, ra the rate is pretty abysmal. Because you gotta exchange them into those and then three of those for like a bit of paper. Actually, that's two bus makes a bit of paper, don't it? Isn't it? Two bus for a bit of paper. I could exchange 40 of them. Could get the next rank of armor. Oh no, if you just raise the amount, it gives you more of them straight. Does it? Oh, okay. So I want 20 of these. Convert. And then I just need three of these. The exchange rate does seem a bit weird though. But all right, should be should be okay here. Uh, we can get fancier armor. And the flames mold the metal. We are raising an army. If I get four and four, I can discount this like quite severely too. In the end, every plan relies there upon we a strong go. arm and tempered steel. Okay, so now. I, I can just increase their health, like, quite significantly here. That gives them, like, an extra seven health. Uh, only Ross and Chandler can get that at the moment. They are, they are the most powerful of the gang. Oh, no, Joey can get it, too. Joey can get it, too. Where did Rachel go? Wait. I love the Rachel. Rachel lost 500 gold after becoming tipsy and buying around for the house. Rachel has gotten a personal vision quest to achieve enlightenment. Oh, okay. She she's just off and away, I guess. I think I want to reduce the cost of these too. We, got, we gotta remove a lot of quirks off the gang. A sharpened sword cannot. God fearing. I could get positive reinforcement for one. I mean, we're probably always gonna be using the Crusader when it's bright. That's probably good, ain't it? Just 10% more damage. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. It's all your money. Yeah, it does actually mean if I get that, then uh, we're not going to be able to afford anything. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Chandler? I want you to be able to gamble. Just feels right. Get that out of your system. Well, if Rachel was here, I, I, mean, I guess I could still give that to her. Not gonna see her for a while, but okay. Uh, Phoebe with the extra stun chance is actually probably great. Probably with the blight chance too. That's also probably great. I should have sent Phoebe, and actually, Phoebe has so many problems. <laughs> Phoebe is not fair and well.
Oh, God almighty. Courtyard next, let's go. Do we chance the friends gang? Sorry, I had to tab up for a moment there. Is it time? I think you gotta live dangerously. I, 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 I you can't be playing these games safe because if you play it like way too safe, it's gonna be like horrifically boring. You know, it's about taking risks. Oh, but Chandler, Chandler is um, undergoing treatment. Hang on, let, let me let me get Chandler out. We shouldn't have sent Chandler in. That's my mistake. Let's get the gang ready. We can send we can send either Phoebe or Joey. I think I think Joey needs a bit of time off. Joe Joey's getting a bit antsy. Got him in the pub. He'll be all right. Not so much money. Not really. It's just a thousand. It, I, I, you generate like fifteen grand like for most adventures. It's actually not that bad. Gotta get Fraser sorted at some point though. Hang on. Get, get, maybe just get the disease out of his system. Actually, no, no, uh, trip to Phoebe. Trip to Phoebe. We can save that. Rage is not doing any damage. A pitch soaked torch. A special torch twice wrapped in cloth and soaked in sulfurous compounds. Okay. Let's bring our food. I take it I need the regular torch even here, yeah? I take it I always need the regular torch. Um... No, you don't? You don't need light, it's always bright. Oh, okay. Oh, you know. Bring three keys. We have some blood. Don't know what we're gonna be facing here, so I, I think it's like a time to bring a bit of everything. I think blood is gonna be the main thing, because that's like the main gimmick of this. Uh, and then we need a few shovels. Okay, I think we're pretty overprepared here. Money gone. It's fine. Like, we're gonna make it back. We have we have our severed heads in bags too. Yeah, that'll help. Okay, let's go. The courtyard and gardens surrounding the manor were once a point of pride for the diligent custodians I employed. Great banquets and lavish social affairs were hosted here under the stars. Despite quick, the expectation of propriety normally ascribed to those in our position. We mocked the stoic melancholy of the moss-covered fountains and cherubic statues, our salacious trysts half-hidden in the hedgerows, our morality slipping ever deeper into the mud. I think we'll be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. Soaked and sinking, these stone terraces and sprawling gardens were the site of long-forgotten revelry. 
and well remembered regret. Oh, that we don't get to see the full pat here. It's just bloodlight as well, plus stress, minus bleed resist, okay. It's just one room. We don't have to go far here. Customize how the gang looks. So we want to spruce them up with the colors. I feel like that's more Phoebe. That might be more Monica. That's a bit more Ross. And then... We'll just keep- we'll keep Chandler the same. Just give me one sec, guys. Hang on. Dismas and Renault to die? No, that's that's Chandler and Ross here. Or Ross Nald. They're doing fine. Oh, would you look at that? A pile of strange bones. Uh what we thinking, gang? We have we have a lot. Use a bandage. Yeah, we probably don't want to do that. We need the bandages. Giving us just food is probably not that great. Okay, here we go. Gotta fight the blood creeps. Be gone, fiend. I think we can take him. I'm not too worried. This is the cast of friends we're talking about. They've been through so many zany adventures. They're not about to go easy. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Didn't land a single hit on us. Power of friendship. Forgot to reposition them. That's all right. Uh, not much. Maybe go. Might as well go for it. Grievous <laughs> injury. Palpable. Baby's freaking out again. I think she just does that. Okay, I think Monica might have been infected. What if he heroes has the Crimson Curse? This curse is not like other diseases. It can't be cured normally in the sanitarium. The only way to keep it at bay is with the blood. There may be other ways to cure it. Monica's in trouble. The fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Heal the gang. Uh, if I can get light off here, maybe? There we go. Okay, as long as I attack Monica now, we don't have to worry about anyone being like going into a bloodlust. Unforgiving. She will be the friend that takes the fall. A decisive pummeling. Oh, he healed with that attack as well. Okay. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Ask the friends to doing great. At least promises success. It's like, 
The one where, where, where Ross invokes an eldritch abomination. No one told you life was going to be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broken, you've invoked spirits from beyond the grave. Okay, uh, blood flowers. Uh, is there anything we could do here? This is the one for the shovel, is it? Wealth beyond measure. Okay, we need we need to take Lord these. To the brave and the fool I have a lot alike. of space. Does lighten a torch help us at all? Gives us a buff. Plus three accuracy for the next battle. Okay. Some. Phoebe, you gotta calm down. I'll be there for you when the blood starts to pour. I'll be there for you, like I've killed a cult before. Oh. Wait, I forgot the room thing? Hang on. I thought, was that the quest? I thought I did it. It's a free stress heal. Oh, okay. Let me let me go back and get it. Hang on. You might stress them out walking backwards, but that's fine. Don't get infected, Phoebe. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Master Chandler's so executed. powerful. <laughs> is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, uh, we need to start collecting our vials of blood as well. So too will resistance. See you later, precious gold. We're not gonna be ambushed, gang. BB forgot something in this room. Okay, do I just open it? Is this how they're made? You torch it. Oh, that's a big stress heal. Okay. Pretty good. I mean, so far so good, only Monica has a taste for blood. Again, not the worst. Required reading for a lot of my streams. I, I, I'm sometimes aware of this just because we draw in so many things. Like, we have to have an understanding of pretty much everything from like the 90s and like 2000s. Like, just like under your belt for some reason. Because if I pull out like the obscure sitcom reference, like you, you're gonna be completely lost. If you haven't seen the four seasons of Father Ted. You may not be able to understand the like the finer points of references here. No, because I could bring in Owen McLovin as a character. And even some Father Ted fans are going to be like, which one's that again? But I know. This is what keeps me up at night. How old is he again? I'm too old. <laughs> Decimated. Right, 
get damage in. I think that's more valuable right now. Uh, a stun? Oh no, they have like 150 stun resistance. Jesus, okay, you, you can't stun them at all. Okay, uh, heal. At least the chance to bleed them seems quite high as well. Okay, he's dead. Use a battlefield medicine. Keep gathering Monica's blood. A death by inches. If there ever was a sacrificial cult episode of Friends, I do feel like Monica would be the first one to go. I don't know why. And I think Phoebe would be leading it. She's got it hunch. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Hard to describe. No, Chandler! Oh, it's okay. If only out. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, we've only got through one of like the big hives, apparently. This is quite lengthy. Oh my god. He's throbbing cocoons. Burn that. Curio? Battle. Does it say if it's a quest curio or if it's just a regular curio? We got combat no matter which way we go. It will say, okay. Will it say like battle with quest for some of them? From the creator of friends, we bring you cult. <laughs> And it's just like the Friends intro song, but like, spoken in reverse to really freak you out. You could probably make a creepypasta out of this. Uh, let's go to this curio. Oh, wait, no, I can't go there yet. Uh, let's fight the impossible battle and go to that curio. There already is what I'm sure. I mean, we would write our own friends creepy pasta. I mean, it has to start the way of all creepy pastas. It's like, I was up late at night and I wanted to watch friends when suddenly my friend, who I haven't seen in a while, sent me an email link on the dark web. He said, Here is the server that you need to watch the secret season. But it didn't sound like my friend, like usual, and his Ross profile picture had blood coming out of his eyes for some reason. I didn't think anything of it at the time. But looking back, my life was to change forever from that night. <laughs> That's how they all go. That's how they all go. Like, honestly. Write it down, quick. Oh, Jesus, a lot of them. The episode of Friends started as normal, but Phoebe was just dead on the couch for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> None of the other characters reacted to it, which seemed a bit strange. <laughs> the laugh track wasn't playing like the usual laugh track. 
It was just people screaming every time Joey said something. I didn't think much of it at the time. Another one falls. Oh, God Almighty. <laughs> uh, they have. Jeez, they have significant blight resist. I think, yeah, bringing a plague doctor here probably wasn't the best bet. Oh, I can't really stun them either. I have a better chance of stunning them after they've got some blood in their systems. Let me just roll for it just in case. That is surprisingly lucky considering they also had stun resist. Oh, that's why it was high. That's why it was high. Okay. Never mind. He missed the quest location? Wait, what? Oh shit, it's up there! I see it now! Okay, I'll go back to that. Uh, give me, give me a second. We almost got him. Eradicated. Coming here in general was a very bad idea. I I think it's actually going quite well so far, I'll have you know. That haven't been like too severe of a consequence yet. A momentary abatement. I mean, Monica, sh like, Monica has a taste for blood, but, like, that's just more in character for her. It's not the worst thing. Everyone else has been fine and dandy. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. I think I just need to keep supplies. Okay, uh, walk on back a mo. We're gonna have to do two battles because we don't really want to back up here. Chandler, no! Alright. Yeah, there's the next one. If there aren't any RT game creepy pastas. Uh, someone needs to correct that. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? I was waiting on the Discord server, excited for the next stream. But for some reason... It was now 33 minutes past 3 in the morning. And that was a bit later than RT normally streams. Suddenly, he posted the tag link for the stream, but instead of tagging everyone, he only tagged me specifically. I didn't think much of it at the time. Why do you have so much of this ready to go? <laughs> Destroyed. Back to the pit. When the stream started, something wasn't quite right. RT had his webcam on, and instead of saying everything, he was just smiling into it with a big grin. The music playing was the Haunted House theme uh, from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> oh 
but it was weird because he was playing Pokemon Heart Gold, and there was no haunted house in that game. <laughs> it's like always like the smallest details, especially with like a game creepypasta. Like it's like the small you have to have the smallest deviances in it. When he killed a Pokemon in the game, instead of Phaeton normally, hyper-realistic blood shooted everywhere from the Pokemon's body. And instead of saying, it, like, the Pokemon fainted, it said, the Pokemon died. RT had a big smile on his face while all of this was happening. And he laughed hysterically with each Pokemon that died. <sighs> it's just a regular stream. Oh, here's a damned fountain. Uh, put some holy water in it. There we go. Heroes are really stressed today. Uh, the cast of friends doesn't know what's going on. They're getting quite uncomfortable with all this. Sometimes when Dan tells a joke and reads the chat after, the silence after looks like he's waiting for the laugh track. <laughs> that's just me that that's me reading chat. That's all that is. Just see what's happening. Like something's kind of creepy here. Surely there's like Twitch channel creepy pass. That has to be a thing. Where there's a haunted live stream on Twitch. As RT was playing the game. For some reason, his chat kept chanting, more blood, more blood, with a hyper-realistic Twitch chat emote of a decapitated Pokemon. It was making me quite uncomfortable. Suddenly, a user in the chat gave 10 gift subs and the alert played. But instead of the usual username, their name was I Know Where You Live. I didn't think much of it at the time until I then heard a knock on my door. Suddenly, RT started laughing harder. And the chat's chanting continued. <laughs> just a normal stream. Uh, just ignore the flowers for now. Ignore the flowers for now. <laughs> the ambience of the court and the laugh track makes this stream to already be a creepy past. Someone just gifted a sub to I know where you live official. I like how they've added official to their name. It's like, not just I know where you live. It's like, ah, no, I'm not buying that. No, this guy actually knows. This this guy has information. <laughs> verified. He knows where you live. Oh, Jesus, how you doing? It's a hooded shrew. Um, how do we help her? I can give him some blood. Uncommon plus speed two. Oh, okay.
Um, I mean, we can just pop that on our healer, I guess. Don't know where else to put it, really. Okay, let's go over here. I feel like, like if there was a creepy pass for our channel, I have to involve the character that is Magical John in some capacity too. I feel like he could actually be in a creepy pasta. Crispy, thank you for 200 bits. Suddenly, RT began receiving negative bit donations in chat, where he had to pay Twitch chat instead. <laughs> That's a very targeted creepy pasta. Oh Jesus! Unnatural and abhorrent. Okay, we gotta get him. Uh, he doesn't have too much stun resist, so we might get him here. Go for it. Does shooting the bush do anything? Cool his advance, if he comes forward, I might be able to get him with something. Yeah, get that plant. Okay, yeah, he's moving up. All right. Okay, buff up. Heat break. Jesus. Probably want to get the repast. if he's hurting us all. Come on, stun him. Um, and switch awkwardly back. Getting closer. No, not quite. He's just healing. We haven't hurt him. Light resist is quite high, but we should probably try to get it. Apex Predator. That's alright. You can try to stun him. Shoot him in the face a bit. Love some light on him. Thank you. That's actually pretty good. That's another 15 damage. Swarm and corruption. He's just stressing everyone the fuck out. Yeah, all right. I'll get you back. Uh, keep trying to stun him before he just like hops all the way back. Yeah, keep him in position. Uh, what's his bleed resist? It's only fifty. Might as well try it. We can stack more. There we go. Stunned. Try to get that off. He's submerging again. Okay, I'll probably knock it. He has increased dodge. Uh, try get the stun again? I think I just keep going for that, because if I land it, it's like really good. Apex Predator. 
A bit scarier, but like, I don't think there's anything we can't handle. Going for a munch. Try to get more blight. Move the position back and get just line up with a past. Get the stun. Come on. Keep going for that stun. I'm not, I'm not getting it. Soothed. Sedated. Oh, bleed. Nope. He's resisted everything. The bleed is a little annoying, but like it's it's not the worst. Heal that one off. Lurk in fear. I think we just go for the kill. <laughs> there we go. strike. Finish the job. Get him, Chandler. Oh, we defeated the bushes too. <laughs> Ooh, we got something specific for the highwayman. And driven into the mud. Oh, that's really good. Uh, I guess we take that over the survival guide. Plus forty-five percent virtue chance. That that seems insane. Yeah. That's so that's so good. Drop the torch. Yeah, we get rid of this. I'm sure there'll be no consequences. Okay, leper amulet. Equip that on our highway, man. You need both the items to get the second effect. Ah, uh, okay. Crimson Court just designates that's from here, yeah? Um, we're not getting much in terms of loot. Move to this room. Still need to find the last, uh, object. Team is getting a little bit injured, but they're doing good. We only have one more. But when you infect your heroes, is thirst, which is going to be satisfied with the blood. Beat them soon, they may begin to weaken. Oh, uh, okay. M Monica's getting a bit antsy. Now she craves violence. Have we kept the shovels? Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Yeah, all right, Monica. Okay, just a little bit further, I think. Surely the end is near. Is this it? Drag quest item. Maddening whine of multitudinous wings. Amaze. Anything else? Let us hope that is the end of things. Yeah, I think we're good. I think I think we did what we set out to. Yeah, that was all right. Like that—that that wasn't a bad expedition. In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism, a roiling apiary where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. 
driven half mad by cloying vulgarity. I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Oh. I don't think the ancestors are uh, uh, <laughs> looking too good here. <laughs> There's like a lot of experiments and a lot of murder. <laughs> They're behind. We get this for a, a Houndmaster whenever we get one now, too. We got the Baron's invitation. Invitation to an evening of games and entertainment signed the Baron. We got level three heroes now, too. Wait, Ross is a disease. Oh no, Ross. But he is deadly. Ross, why? Chandler now hates beasts. Monica became clumsy. Phoebe just doesn't have much going for her. These swarming fiends carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. The hammer has been restored to a livable level of dege degeneracy once more. The dispersal of this pestilence to the surrounding environs, however, seems inevitable. Yeah, so here is clear again, but we're now going to encounter Crimson Court enemies in every other zone in the game. Uh, how's the rest of the gang doing? Oh yeah, the night in the town. Rachel's finally back. Uh, we got a decent amount of money from that. We didn't get too much. Uh, I gotta get the run sorted for Ross. Let's lower that right now. Lower that as much as we can. Techniques and tonics can overcome things a sharpened sword cannot. Just invest in it while we're putting them in. We have a houndmaster. We do have a houndmaster. Weak grip and flagellant. Okay, a right, bit weird, but otherwise seems pretty good. I don't think we have space though. Unless I let go of someone else on the team. We already lost Frazier's dad. Can't afford to let anyone else go right now. Just as I feared. Now loosed from their brackish prison, they will spread like locusts across our land. The Baron invites you to his twisted game, so this is a veteran quest. Uh, for level 3, so I believe you can use upwards of like a level 4 hero, I want to say. We, we, we probably cannot do that for quite some time. We can't do that for quite some time. That one's going to be like a really bloody hard one as well. Look at the standard we get. We get the Viscounts. For the Viscount, 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 we get an invitation. 15,000 gold. We check on the aliens, see what's going on here. I haven't been to the cove yet either, yeah, we've been kind of ignoring that. Alright, we'll get, we'll get the Father Ted gang uh, together. Father Jack, Mrs. Doyle. Uh, we haven't had Dougal out in the wild yet. Level up Jim Carrey. It will be Jim Carrey's time to shine. Don't worry. We will get there. Uh, we're going to use the Fodder Ted gang, though. All right, I'll see if there's like anything else I can afford for stress relief. Uh, Phoebe probably needs alcohol. Then Fraser in for some prayer. Mm -hmm. 
upgrade their equipment. I don't know if I can afford the... If I upgrade their kit, they're not gonna have much left. Maybe I could sell some? Should probably be using one of these on the occultist. Sell that. Probably keep that. Okay. We can afford a bit of extra kit for them. Google can't get any yet. Jack got like a, a bleach skull now. It's a nicer looking skull. You can sell the stone tools, by the way. I don't think I want to sell them. I, like they're very rare. They're probably good. There's going to be like one boss in the game where these are amazing, and then the rest of the time you don't need them. If I have to guess. Okay. Time for the Fodder Ted gang. Uh, they're gonna take on the cove. I think they're all ready. It's gonna be a bit more budget friendly adventure. Because <laughs> money's getting tight. Cove is the best music. Yeah, the, the, the Cove battle theme is really good. Yep, that's uh, pretty much everything they get. I think there is Eldritch here, like, even though there's like seems to be weird downsides. There's a natural. We should equip that. Well done, equip everyone. I, I, I can't be asked. I can't be asked. I, I want to get everyone like their own equipment loadouts. Let's go. Who's time to respec all of them every time? These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must yeah, 100% be of room out. battles. Uh. <laughs> Christ, there's a lot there. Okay, here we go. The Fodder's Head Squad is ready. Let's get him. Okay, what 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 has Dougal got? He can punish someone. a lot of bleed. Okay, Mrs. Dog can hit them. Now he's gonna die. I can mark myself. I can just mark myself to redirect the hits. Might as well. Uh, there we go. The, uh, yeah, the leper can tank everything. So he's very inaccurate, but strong. Give him a go. Precision and Critical one. It's like nice. Okay, more bleed. I think I can just hew. There we go, and he's dead too. Continue the Get him, Mrs. Doyle. Destroy them all. Yeah, 
Okay, we need to complete all the room battles, so we're going this way. Love the leopard because his accuracy is so low. The counter act, the fact that he basically one shots everything with chop. I guess the thing, yeah, like it, it, it doesn't actually have like a damage like debuff on it, unlike most of the abilities in the game. Well, I feel like a lot of them is just like attack less. Whereas he just kind of hits hard, but like wildly inaccurate. Oh, I got a. Uh... Gotta make that better. You're all right, Dougal. How many deaths have happened so far? It's just been Seinfeld, surprisingly. Only Seinfeld is dead. We go, just line that up. Now he'll die. Yeah, everyone else has been faring like really damn well. Nice! The entire team or just Jerry? The entire team. I, I, uh, Kramer's dead as well. Kramer didn't make it. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Jesus Christ, he's strong. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Head's got a lot of power. Yeah, it's all Eldritch Abomination. I remember when this game was in early access, it was like the last one of the last zones to be at it. In like the base game. Okay, heal! Actually good roll. Oh, thank you again for the raid. Thank you very much. How's it going? I'm trying to work out what I need to do here. You're all very welcome, though. We're chilling with Darkest Dungeon. I've been wanting to play this game on stream for ages. Uh, just roll a 12. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Mrs. Do <laughs> Calculator. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, all of our characters are like 90 sitcom characters. Apart from Jim Carrey, who's like uh, just a person. But we, we could have said that about Jerry Seinfeld as well. <laughs> could have said that about him too. And I mean, Ross is just Ross forever, you know? Like, we, What do you mean his name is David? Cell field. Slightly okay. Come on, Ted. They're actually really struggling against this guy. He's guarded by the other one. Transfer the mark there. Oh, if I shoot him, it'll shoot the one that's marked now. Nice. Okay, heal. Is it just me, or is this team very weak? <laughs> I don't feel like I've got a lot of damage with the Father Ted gag. 
this is a long fight. You've only used the woods. True, yeah, this, this is one of the early battles. Still getting a feel for it all. Mrs. Doyle seems quite powerful. Hope blossoms. Be wary around her. An eldritch altar. What 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 are we thinking? What do we just like chuck into it? I don't I don't have holy water. I just light it on fire. Ah just touch it. Sure, it's fine. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Holy water with it to cure a bad quirk, but no water. Oh, that's actually very good. Yeah, you can just clean up your characters that way. Brought a bleed-based character to the place that has the highest bleed versus enemies. Well, look, I'm. <laughs> We had to send. Oh, now I stepped into the trap. Ambushed by foul invention. Hope you're happy pointing out pointing out my own ignorance there. Now there's been consequences for that. How dare you correctly observe my failings? Find victory. Is lit. It's the our job. Is True. I, weirdly, I feel like I play games way better forward. when I'm actually streaming them. Definitely whenever I play like card games or anything like that. Like, because I, like, I think so much more about what I'm doing. Even playing like kind of Pokemon battles. Streamer luck. Honestly, I, I'm quite blessed with streamer luck. Oh no, it's the blood guys. Okay, gang, remember your training now. You can take him. He's gonna bleed for four. Shoot. Didn't do nearly enough. Okay, we killed one. Let's not get infected. Unforgiving. I think the leper has like higher resist. Although with that said, I, I think Ted's in a bit of trouble. That's not looking too good. I got you, Ted. So this is about to you killed way less characters than we expected you to. I'm honestly surprised like so few people have died. We've only had like one really disastrous run. And like the luck even there was like absolutely horrendous. Don't get infected, Mrs. Doyle. She's gonna be wanting more than just tea soon. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Would you not have a drop? You better have a drop. We'd suffer clear march target transfer bleed transfer blight to self. Minus twenty percent stress. Oh, okay, so you can like absorb bleed. Okay, that's interesting. Pick off that one. Masterfully executed. Put some band-aids in. A death by inches. Uh, 
that. Those ones aren't worth enough. And... Uh, just toss that. It's fine. We still have pages, do I? Okay, I'm become vengeance. All cultists will fear my maze brigands feel my roar. I'm outnumbered. Tis true, I am starved and half mad, but as long as there is bread in my body, I will press on. But wreak, wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to dispel my great mance. And now they come. It dows my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house, and woe to the uninvited. Okay. Bit angry sounding now. Packs laden Got some with loot there. are often low on supplies. I forget that you can read the pages. Yeah, uh, I, I, I forget that too. I, I keep thinking it's like until you, you can only read them when you get back to town with a page. Um, but no, you can just like pick them up whenever and go for it. Let's get a meal in. Oh, I should have lit the torch more. God, these guys are so bulky as well. This is actually, like, these are really dangerous scenarios for the gang. Uh, this is this is very unfortunate. I can stun you. There we go. Can you run away whenever? Yeah, you can leave the dungeon at any time, but if you leave in mid adventure, like everyone gets traumatized more because you failed, and you also get like significantly less loot. So strong. These guys are so tanky. Yeah, you can just retreat from combat, but like everyone gets really stressed out. I think I actually need the damage here. Get the bleed. This is door was actually really powerful. Cold of Stone's really strong. It seems good, yeah. Have you played Darkest Dungeon 2? I've steered clear of it. Uh, I, I kind of just want to wait until the game is fully released, if that makes sense. The torch is getting real bad. Hey, let's just uh, get some color back. Look at a little dicey there. The wounds of war can I kind of just wait until it fully comes out, because like they're going to be just tweaking and changing it, you know? I can shoot you, or shoot you. Has he played it before? Is this his first round? I've played it before, way back in the day. I'm having a lot of fun revisiting it. I get really into this game. You can probably tell. I'm like learned out and trying to work out numbers in my head as we go, just so the team just doesn't die horrifically. Uh, we just need to, like, get through all these. There we go. Nice! Good heal. Get over that. Uh, 
annihilated. It's also on a minus 85% sale on Steam right now. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Very convenient timing. Not sponsored. I, I, I do really like this game. Oh, we're in the clear, are we? Let's check in case it's a secret room. Yeah, we're good. At last, the Father Ted gang has not perished. If indeed there is such a thing. We're doing okay. Second wind, that's pretty good. <laughs> Father Dougal doesn't want to go back anymore. But he's become a manslayer of all things. He just wants to kill anything but the Eldritch. Uh, Father Jack's now obsessed with ghosts. Uh, Mrs. Doyle is now just slow and also craves blood. Okay. Bit unfortunate. A ray of sunlight. A beacon of golden hope. My god, the sun. Monica has come down from the bloodlust. Nice. It's, it's going well. Do we want to check out the this one here? Comet shards? I've I've never experienced this one. Want to go one more? Let's try it. Let's try. I don't think I can bring this gang anymore. Yep. So once they reach level three, they don't like doing apprentice levels anymore. It's how the game kind of balances itself, so you can't really over level too much. And everything is like way harder if you go into one of these. Well, this gives us all Saints Day. It's 25% damage. That's kind of good. But, uh. Probably a bit grueling. Silence in the crypts? How to event? There's one of the events that actually resurrects a dead teammate, I think. Very rare. I don't think it's that. Vagilant hood. Okay, no, we're, we're going here. We're going here. Um, so we need we need a team. I mean, Rachel seems like she's okay again. Is it finally time to take Jim Carrey on a quest? No, I don't. I don't think this is Jim. Jim Carrey's gonna struggle here. Okay, Ad Jim Carrey and Rachel work well together, because that's basically the cast of Bruce Almighty. Okay. Uh, we should bring Joey along. And then Frazier's just gonna heal. Okay. We'll see what we can get the gang in terms of equipment before they embark here. Uh, it'll have to do. Okay, uh, who needs stress relief? Uh, head's going a bit mad. We'll give him an old drink. Uh, Jack likes his drink too, so we get him in there too. Get them just calming down. Uh, I still can't afford that as well. I, I really need to get like just a f just a few more upgrades so we at least get all the classes. There's an abomination in the Houndmaster here. Can you upgrade the guild yet? You haven't upgraded it, at, like, at all. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I cannot. But hey, the skills I can get are reduced. That's pretty good. 
No level two, but cheap level one. Doing her best. We got the boots for the musketeer as well. We'll slap them on later. Uh, do I need... I don't need torches for here at all. Torch isn't even an option to buy. What what, what supplies do I want? There's no, I can't even buy food. What do I want to bring here? Things for blight and things for bleed. Okay. Bandages and anti-venom. Yeah, uh, uh, holy water for the boss. Okay. Get them all a thing of holy water. Stock up on some herbs. The key and a shovel. Do I need the okay all that? Don't need the shovel. I feel safer with a shovel. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one just for security. <laughs> Even if like it's a hundred percent confirmed, you literally don't need this. Uh, I'm gonna like like be anxious the entire time if there's not like a safety shovel in my inventory. It's my comfort shovel. Yep. I need that. I don't know what this means, but we'll have to see. Don't forget a snack for the road. I think, I think we're all good. Breakthrough might be a handy one. Maybe get that real quick. Hang on. Uh, real quick. Just because we're going to be swapping about here. Uh, maybe pick that up. Iron Swan. Oh, but the stun is the stun is pretty good as well. No, I, I'm going to need this. I've never once used the Adrenaline Rush. We'll just get stunned and we'll get breakthrough. Go. Wish I could like stockpile the provision while I'm gone. Okay, so one, two, three, four. 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 Safety shovel and a key. We good? We good. Blight had struck the harvest again that year, and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. Yeah, this, is, this is all new to me. I've never played this before. Um, well, like this bit of the game. Uh, just give me one second. I have to check one... One quick thing on my end. Apologies if there's any background audio that pops up here. Um, I'm just checking it because I, I have a, vi a YouTube video that was going to go up tonight, but it's still processing for bloody HD. Uh, and it's it's not gone through, so I think I'm gonna have to actually wait and release that tomorrow because it's gonna be way too late at night. I'm just gonna I I'll, I'll, might still get it up tonight. It's the heavy rain highlights. We have them done. It's just YouTube's been processing them like all the damn day. Um, so that you can only watch it in 360p, which I'd rather avoid if possible. 
Yeah, I'll just have to leave that till tomorrow then. Be grand. Yep, let me, uh... Let me just schedule that. Sorry, yeah, this this is just... This is just channel things, my end. I'm just conscious of it because it was going to release at like 10 if it was actually ready. Uh, it is not. Okay. There we go. I see a 360p video, I turn around and leave. I don't blame you, honestly. It's like so pixelated. It's so hard to see. And how are you going to be able to connect with the emotions in Heavy Rain, you know, if it's like in that quality? It's just not possible. Okay, what's going on here? Celestial Cornerstone? Touch it. Onward? I, I don't know what's happening here. Husk and human. Okay, Jim Carrey. This is your time to shine. Battle Ballad. This is a meter? I don't know what that means. Uh, I can do a pierce, but if I do a pierce here... Oh, I can kill it. All right. Defeated foes will swiftly be replaced by waves of despicable reinforcements. The party must endure this onslaught without pause or hope for respite. Because of the strange nature of time's behavior in the farmstead, you can retreat with no penalty at any time. All farmstead quests have a kill meter, the measure of, of your might and ambition. Fill up by defeated monsters, and when your tally hits certain thresholds, you will receive a reward of crystal shards. These rewards increase the further you venture. Back in the habit, the jeweler seeks these strange glowing shards. He would trade you for unspeakable artifacts of power. Find them in the nomad's wagon. Okay. Oh gosh, so this is this is just endless mode. Uh, Jester was the wrong one to bring, considering I have like a limited one-time ability. Uh, that's gonna make them almost like completely useless here. Annihilated. At least we get some nice buffs. Uh, breakthrough can be used from there as well. Okay, good, good to know. Do I just keep buffing? Can I stack it? It's for three rounds. I'll just go for a stab. The battle resets occasionally. Buff stacks. Let me try it. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's like now if we've gone from plus four to... Well, plus two to plus four, and it's like extra rounds. Cool. Back to the pit. Okay, keep, I killed that, I'll take it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. They don't seem too threatening so far. But sure, it's just gonna, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's just gonna keep going. Might get a bit bad over time. Uh, what is the scarecrow doing? Try shank it. I just don't think I'm equal to this task. Okay, that's pretty bad. Oh, it had Stell. Oh, okay. All right, I see it now. Seeds of Madness. Crystal Aberration. I can 
news finale from here. I, I don't think I want to do that yet. They're not going to be able to hit if I uh, use that here. Uh, expose the stealth. There we go. I can do a breakthrough here. Get back to the front. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I don't know what the shard is gonna do if it's left alive. Okay, so it is a small little bomb. Horror. Consumes the mind. Oh my god. This this is a tough one for the gang. I can't even use that if I'm that far back. Gone way too far back now. That meter is just not filling up too well either. I have too many people shuffling. Two, two is plenty. Any more than that, and we're gonna we're gonna be in trouble. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I'm gonna have to just pop a finale just to like get them to the back again. <laughs> Which feels horribly, like, like, terribly, like, wrong and, like, ill-timed to do, but I, I have to. I have to get, like, someone else here. Obliterated. Let's get that in. That's the only time we get to use that move. Uh, oh, this needs to be dealt with as well. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Jim Carrey starting to freak out a bit. Oh god. Oh no, that's only 20 health. Looks a bit scarier than I think it actually is. Okay. Do that, I can get one and do damage. The horse is stealthy. Okay. Sneaky horse. Get him. Good old battle ballad. And heal. It seems a bit calmer right now because the horse is occupying a lot of the space. Weirdly enough. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, well this this, this is terrible. Another one falls. Uh, inspiring tune. Unwind a little. I don't think I'm gonna get that one. Yeah, we gotta take out that horse. We're halfway to the meter.
We're getting there. The or battle ballad. Quickens. You get to the front. Joey is. Joey's taking a lot of damage. If I could reveal it. There we go. No, that's gonna send them back. I, I timed that wrong. A victory. It's all right. Forest dealt with. Turning point. Yeah, th this actually seems super dangerous compared to everything else we've done. Just because the combat won't end. Constant. Get a little stab in. Yeah, at least we can leave at any time. That is true, but we, we don't want to leave. We got to get that gem. We can't quit. I should have brought I should have bought more of these. This is just not the team for this scenario. Like at all. There we go. Oh, that's, that's really good. Yeah, breakthrough seems to be a good choice. Knowing uncertainty. You're all right. The birthplace of dread. I can shank him. <laughs> Great. That's actually a really good team. It, it doesn't feel it for here. This scenario, it feels like I could have a way better composition. I, I have to heal. I need to make sure that dies. Um... I, I guess I could just let's try to shank it. If I do a breakthrough, I think I can get all of them, can I? I can if I lower this. Great. That's okay. We've almost got it. They're get, starting to get really badly hurt. Just have to do the party heal because it's the most bad in numbers. If we get the three. If I go forward here, the Helion can't do anything. But if I go back one more, I can't do anything. Well, the Helion could break through again, I guess. I think we ha I think we just have to do that. Eradicated. And the Jester can move back. Or oh, the Jester could just shank him. No, the, the Jester should just be like, eh. 
Let me, uh, let me hop away there. Okay, I don't want to use that yet. I'll use that. They're getting very brink facing the abyss. Okay, they are actually in danger if we keep going here, but we might be able to pull it off. Is the only thing. Give him a stun. In these sitcoms, we don't quit. Not until the job is done. Okay, I can... I can shank him. I need to reveal that at some point. Iron Swan it. There's another one. Yeah, if I go forward, then I can just charge forward again, I think. Executed with impunity. I have ample time to do that here. Pretty good. Oh no. We're very close on this. I might as well use this. Great. The fact that did no damage is actually the worst thing. We just needed to do one damage and we would have been fine. It's actually so unbelievably bad in this scenario. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Uh, Jim Carrey's gonna snap. He's powerful, of course. <laughs> Could be something that Jim Carrey actually says. Carry's transforming into Jim Scary. Yes, he is. Good God, there's so many of them. Impale has a chance to potentially kill all of them. Might as well. No. Nope. Yeah, this one needs to be the party comfort. Or in immense danger. Must admit that wanton slaughter is a lot of fun. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Get him, Jim. Gangs almost made it. Just a little further. Oh my god. Have I got the crystal? Oh, 
No, I haven't. Well, I'll, I'll know when I got the crystal, I take it. We're almost there. We just need to kill, like, one or two more. Holy shit. Ra Rachel's not looking too good. I'm gonna pop a holy water here. Decimated. Okay, more bombs. Uh, we just need to get through them. I can do a breakthrough. Okay, not a good start. Pale him. Oh, get him, Rachel. Come on. Foolish horrors. We survived. Brought low and we made it to the, the end. Mud. Jesus, that was stressful. Get out of there. Okay, we got 24 comet shards for that. Rachel now, now knows how to explore the Warrens for some reason. And Frazier fancies himself a cove tactician. Cool. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. We got a blueprint. The resurrection of our ramshackle hammer has lured brave artisans and merchants who see potential in the vacant lots surrounding the square. Hamlet has grown and used your presence is emboldened in craftsmen to return. They now construct all new buildings, they are expensive, but provide unique bonuses that may help your endeavors to cleanse the estate. So they need uh, a blueprint and an heirloom. Color of Madness districts require shards, which are earned in the farmstead. The mill is unique in that it requires memories. Memories are mostly dropped in the endless harvest quest by killing the sleeper. Note, to gain access to all district buildings, you must purchase the Crimson Court DLC and the Color of Madness DLC. Breaking the fort wall a little bit there. All right. Uh, I don't think I can get anything. No, I can't. It's pretty good for just the gesture. Just, it's more powerful. Those are pretty interested. The bank is crazy overpowered. Where's the bank? Interest gained on saved gold, 5% per week. Yeah, that actually seems like it would rack up quickly. Especially because we're like dabbling with thousands. That's a lot, yeah. Just live off the interest after a while. Uh, can I get anything fancy for my shards? No. No, I can't afford anything. <laughs> Okay, cool. We gotta grind for that. Yeah, that's the good gear, apparently. Oh wow, and some of, some of this seems to be pretty good for the farm. Plus 25 percent damage of laudanum is just in your inventory. That, that that's wild. Just hold it, and it gives you strength. They just have holy water. Like, look look how much that does. Yeah, heal and end damage all up. The broken key is amazing. 35 percent stun skill chance. Yeah, that's, that seems quite strong. Uh, this one is by far the most expensive. Plus 50% max HP on attack random target 5%. 25% stun skill chance if you hold holy water. And <laughs> you also inflict blight. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's crazy. <laughs> holy shit, that seems so broken. Can you use those in just the base game?
Yeah, you can. Oh my god, like, if you grind it out, then, yeah, like, this is broken. Plus 20% damage, like, just straight up. Plus 20% damage. You lose stress whenever you kill some. Yeah, like, that. that's unbelievably powerful. Holy shit. That must, like, upset the balance a lot. I guess you have to grind for it. I, I guess you have to grind for it, so that's what it is. And also, yeah, this has infinitely gotten more difficult, so, like, like, to even get the next rank, I'm gonna need, like, a team of level 4s. It's a lot of work to get those crystals. It does seem it, yeah. That's cool, though. You can just, like, grind those out, though, if you want. That's cool. Okay. I think that's a good point to wrap up the stream for tonight. I hope people enjoy me playing Darkest Dungeon. I had I had a very good time playing this. I really enjoyed it today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we will be playing something radically different that may be a shitpost. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a complete 180 uh, from a game I really wanted to play, the one I know pretty much nothing about, uh, except it's probably gonna be very cursed. Uh, we'll be starting at 3 in the afternoon again. Should be a good time. I'll keep an eye on if the Heavy Rain video processes. If it does, then I might release it tonight still. But it seems to be stuck in limbo at the mo. Thanks, YouTube. That's okay. Are you playing Genshin? No, no, it's not Genshin. I'm sorry to disappoint you. No! <laughs> Cry of despair because it's not Genshin Impact. Uh, let me see who is streaming so I can leave you in someone's care. Uh, quite a few people going. Why a few people going? Uh, Simon's playing Lego Star Wars. That sounds like a good time. Go say hey to the man. Okay, thanks for coming, folks. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to the mods as ever for being on hand. Have a good night.